Oh my gosh, no sound. Thank you, Whitney. <laughs> Whitney, lead to the rescue. Woohoo. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I was saying hi to everybody. So let me say hi to everybody again. Hello, Lee and Violet and Babs and Whitney Lee and Nikki. Great to see you. And Martin's mommy, you and um, Anna Bree, hello. Muzz, hello. Muzz, you probably should get some sleep. My voice will put you to sleep, and then I'll say something really loud and wake you right back up. Hey, Lauren Marie. Um, 
Nikki, you drive south. I don't think Orlando is that far from Charlotte. Like, what, like four or six hours, I bet. So you drive south. I'll drive north, and we'll meet there, and then we will have some fun. I think that's a great idea. I saw Jay today's um, – if you go to – if you guys go to uh, Jay today, her community tab, she's got a little uh, – map up of a possibility of where he might be um which is in southern south carolina um not that far from charlotte so <laughs> that's why we are joking about charlotte i'm going to um rainy oh my gosh rainy i did i'm sorry hi rainy darn it Oh, it's in North Carolina. Yeah, I don't know my north and south. So that's probably six or eight hours away from Orlando. Okay. Yeah, I can never remember like where Myrtle Beach is. I think that's in south. I don't know. Martin's mommy, I don't think so. He is traveling. Um He's traveling for a funeral, I guess he said. And that's why he's in a hotel. Um So I have my doubts. I don't I have my doubts if he got kicked out of the cottage yet. But I could be wrong. I mean, that hotel seemed the pillows on the pillows looked kind of nice. It seemed like a three star hotel. It didn't seem like a real crap flea bag. But if he's got some new pay hags, then maybe he's got the money for a three-star hotel. Which those are what usually like 150 bucks a night, um, I'd say, around the $150 area now. God, so expensive now. I remember, I mean, maybe you can get a good deal for 100 bucks, but. Oh, is it? Okay. Well, interesting because, yeah, definitely speculating that he'd be on uh, more than alcohol. I don't know. I've got uh, two different IG lives he did and then two different YouTubes he did. See what played the last one that he did. And I know that's where he big time was accusing um, $5,000 of being stolen from his Harry Potter books. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it might be inappropriate laughter if I was talking about anybody else having um genuine money stolen from them. But I'm venturing that the only people that are actually going to believe the truth about this is about half of the loyal hags. Maybe three quarters of the loyal hags. Otherwise, nobody is buying the uh, stealing of the $5,000 story. Um, oh, and I, what I was saying is because I have to do audio only, I will eventually redo these again with the video once, um, you know, maybe if we have like a slow January or something like that, I'll pull them up and redo them all with the video attached. But just in order to uh, get these out, I didn't want to wait for a new computer. Yeah, Martin's mommy, um, I'll tell you in just a sec. Um, Actually, maybe right now. Let me think. Did I? Yeah. So I will. Uh, I will replay all of these um, in the next couple of months for sure. Um, when I don't have, you know, when there's when I need content or not even necessarily need content, it just seems like a good time to pull them back out. You know, in a couple of months, something like that. So um, in the meantime, this will be all the audio, and I'm sure between Reddit and other channels, you'll be able to catch. Uh, more of the video, I would think, if they stream it like that. And as far as the $5,000 story, Martin's mommy, um, he is stating that, right, there won't be any snot on the shirt, uh, at least that we, I know of. Um, he is say, saying that when Stacy, his former moderator, Stacy Acevedo, um, when she stayed with him that night when Cody was in the hospital, 
when he was accused of stealing her medication, he suddenly, out of nowhere last night, accused her of stealing $5,000 from out of his bookcase or book shelf from hidden hidden inside of a book in between other books or hidden outside of a book between other books or hidden around books, behind books, in books, above books, below books. I don't know, <laughs> but there's a, but they were, they were uh, between some Harry Potter books, this money. Um, and I've seen it said that there were two wads of cash totaling 5,000. And I, maybe he had like those hidden books, uh, you know, that have nothing inside of them that look like books. Maybe he uh, supposedly had it in there and there. Agree, Whitney Lee. Nobody, nobody is buying it except for the hags, the dedicated loyal hags, because there's still plenty of hags out there that are no longer dedicated or loyal or even like him. <laughs> but they're all out there hagging around today somewhere else, <laughs> talking about this. So I was watching a little bit of it because Stacy is being interviewed, or Stacy is actually over on Heidi Black's channel right now and is live. So I know I will definitely be keeping the stream up. It's not going anywhere. I'm going to assume Heidi would keep the stream up where she's, um, where Stacy is clearing her name. But in case she doesn't, please feel free to go over there and view it because you can always come back and listen to mine on replay. Uh, so no worries there. And also to the replay crew, uh, Thank you. I appreciate it because that is what I'm here for. So Bushwatchers, Replay Crew, everybody viewing. If you don't mind, hit the like button. And if you're out there in the bushes, please subscribe. I would love it. And um, also, if you decide you would like to donate to the channel, which is absolutely not necessary, but very appreciated because I'm sure this will not be monetized, especially. I mean, I'd say most of John's drama isn't because of all the, the cussing and the self-harm and everything that, and the R word and all the, all the things that John says. But um, I do have my Venmo, my PayPal and my cash app running at the top. And you are free if you want to super chat or super sticker me. Um, or you can also do a super thanks if you are on replay. But again, none of that is necessary. Just giving me the, the click and a, a short view is awesome. So anything above and beyond that, even clicking the like button is super much appreciated. Okay, so I think that covers all of the housekeeping in quotes. You know, Whitney Lee's current hags should take a lot of stuff as a warning. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Oh, Martin's mommy, did you just miss me? Oh, my God, you just missed it. I just told you again. <laughs> Would somebody mind filling in Martin's mommy <laughs> on the 5K? If you don't mind, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> That's funny. That's some stuff I do, too. Okay, let's see. Oh, and I did want to mention one other thing. So the very first one I'm going to play, he it's his IG Live, and like I was saying, he had two different IG Lives. One was exactly an hour, and I guess um, that's when YouTube ki or IG kicked him off, and he decided to go over to YouTube. His first one is like 26 minutes. In the 26-minute one, he is constantly showing um, – his, the, oh, yeah, I want to add that to his bloody, pardon the triggers here, but he's showing his bloody arms or Cody's bloody arms. As most people are now saying, these are actually pictures of Cody when he put his wrist through the stove and they are not pictures of John. So I had to, I, I uploaded that to my upload channel that I share and after it got uploaded at 7.24 a.m., YouTube 
sent me an email saying that the content had been removed uh, because it was against community guidelines. And then at quarter after one, so just um, about an hour and 20 minutes ago, they sent me another email asking, um, making sure I was okay. And if I needed help for self-harm and different things, they gave me phone numbers to contact and information and just kind of a little plethora of information from YouTube. So that was kind of a, a very interesting and uh, learning thing when I uploaded that and first got, you know, and I don't think it got, I don't think it was a strike or anything. And if it was, it's a, it's a backup channel um, that went, that a strike is not going to matter. But um, the fact that they sent a backup letter then to make sure that I was okay and, you know, who to contact and so forth, because, you know, they assume it's your own self-harm or whatever, obviously, when they are blocking those kind of videos. So then what I did is I went in and I just um, edited it and put a big black box over all of the graphics, which ended up being um, probably 15 minutes out of the 26-minute video. And just put a big black box over it, and it went through fine. <laughs> but so, yeah, keep that in mind, anybody. And then also, I want to make a little list of things I want to um, include in my um, description box after the show because there are a ton of Reddit clips with all the pictures and different things that I'm, I won't be showing you today. So, I want to put some links in for Reddit. A lot of these pages, though, are private, so if you don't have a Reddit account, um, you may not be able to view them on incognito. But you can always make one with, you know, a fake name that nobody would ever know, just to read stuff. You don't need to participate, um, although sometimes you'll read stuff and suddenly feel the need to participate, but <laughs> whatnot. But I will um, include some of the Reddit links. Because they've got some really good information and some really good photos of things I'm not going to be sharing. And then the other thing I noticed on the very last live, and I think Siwa showed it and um, she showed the video of it all. But <laughs> John, the front of his head, his hair, it's so long, I guess. And he had that something about Mary hairdo where he just had a big chunk of it, the front of his hair just sticking straight up out of the top of his head. And that was it. <laughs> and Violet, that is understandable. That is understandable. And actually, and what I would like it for is I would like to have the links here in case you know there are ever any um, loyal hags that are wandering over to get information. It would be nice for you know those people to be able to just simply click on something and go straight to some information to have the different proof of things that are going on. So that's why I would like to put some of the Reddit links in there. Um, and that way the information, if the people want the information, it is more easily and readily available to them. And I would just be putting up, you know, links with, with actual, what, what I consider, um, you know, to be the actual proof of things. No um, conspiracy theories or, well, I don't, you know, some of the conspiracy theories are, are, are much more accurate than you would think. But I'm trying to keep it at proof to show people because other people like to complain that there's so much hate from this side that they just find it so hard to listen to us. Because there's just so much hate and false accusations. As Martin Long says, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. <laughs> and then also, John exhibited some extreme racism again last night. No, he did not say the N-word, but he basically did everything but that. So uh, I do have the link for the petition in the description box. If you would like to sign the petition, it is in the description box. And I would love if my mods every once in a while would share that link in the chat. Um, just uh, two or three times, no big deal. Drazo, hello. No, we aren't the hateful ones. They, well, are we? Yeah, I guess. Well, they're, I guess they are calling us the hateful ones. But yeah, no, we're not. They are. Right. Hello, lack of self-awareness. 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I know I forget that you guys are like 10 or 15 seconds behind me, and then I change tangents and forget what I was just saying. Yeah, all the microaggressions and all the stereotypes of many races were offensively displayed by uh, JY and Chody. Hey, Napa. Muzz draws out. Who else did I miss? Trampoline, tram it all. Vegetable soup bowl head. Welcome to, tramp Welcome to the matriarch of the Tramp family. It's an honor to have you. I think I don't think I missed anybody else. Okay, let me go ahead and get this very first one pulled up, and we will get into it. Oh, I didn't think I had 15 minutes worth of tangents in me, but apparently I just did. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we got a, there's um the new one that I download or uploaded onto my upload channel that had all the self-harm pictures on it. <laughs> now it gives, when it pops up, it gives a warning that there could be some self-harm talk. So that's kind of cool too. Um, And it's not one that I'm going to ever... I mean, none of this stuff, well, I guess it might be a shared public. I don't know. Because basically this video, he's just in a dark car talking. So you can't even see his face. Um, you can just hear him and you see his profile in the dark car. And then he turns the light on to show his, or he turns, he puts pictures up to show. Oh, my gosh. No, I'll blow, oh my no, oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, last night he had trouble with the Inglés. He was no hablo Inglés last night. And I'm sorry for my horrible Spanish accent. I say Spanish words and I do sometimes feel almost offensive, but I still want to say hola and a few words I know. And not be offensive, like, you no, know, Albo, Puerto Rican, like, that's, I can't. I can't. Oh, Drazo, those are so, I want to get a tattoo of my mom also. Oh, I do too. I want to get a tattoo of my mom on her wedding day. And my mom, <laughs> pardon what I'm about to say, but my mom always said, well, my mom even said with the first tattoos, she always said over my dead body, but she really said it with the tattoo of her face. She's like, you better not do that until I die. So now I'm finally allowed to get a tattoo of her face on her wedding day. <laughs> oh, Drazo. Too bad you're not getting it done in Florida. You'll probably get it done in New York. Because I need to find a Florida portrait artist. Because you got to make sure you find somebody so, so good when it comes to portraits. Now that I've watched Ink Master two million times and some of these portraits they mess up. Oh, my gosh. You might go to Miami. You should find one in Orlando. <laughs> I'll get my laptop next month and a tattoo first. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, Star. Okay, I'm going to start this, but, um, oh, Drazo, that's so cool that you're going to do that. That's so cool. I cannot wait till I can uh, get mine started. 
All right, I'm going to go ahead and press play. And oh, whoops, did I set this? Switches up. Yep, there we go. Okay. You know how to cuss in Spanish, thanks to your friend Gwen. <laughs> Oh, nice, Drazo. That's right. I remember you showing your tattoos. Now that you say that. Okay, let's let me press play, and here we go. Oh, he's waiting to speak. I am sick of these motherfuckers online saying that six months ago, I didn't try to kill my fucking self, that I made it up, that it was all for fucking show, that me and Julie were trying to scam people to defame me and everything fucking else. I am sick of it. I just posted the fucking shots on my official account. So take screenshots while you can, because I'm sure they will be reported soon uh, if, if they're not reported already. I'm tired of it. I am tired of it. When I slit my wrist back in June, I meant to slit my fucking wrist. I wanted to die from these people who won't leave me the fuck alone. And six months later, here we are in December, in fucking December. And it's still the same fucking thing. So go to my fucking official account while the post is still there. Take your fucking screenshots and see, and see how I did my fucking wrist in. And like, you can see... That I fucking did it. Like they're, they're saying, oh, John didn't hurt himself. John only John only took a, a scissor to his arm. John didn't do anything. I'm sick of it. I am sick of it. <laughs> and nobody believes the pictures that you showed either. They all believe. Well, definitely the blood spots that you showed are from when Cody broke the stove because it's the exact same pictures you showed when Cody broke the stove, the floor blood spots. So those wrist arms that you showed could easily have been Cody's when he punched the stove. And hello talks a lot. And hello, Mona and Valerie. Nice to see all of you. are fucking the worst people on earth. I was fine. I moved on. I moved on. But, and I haven't talked about these people in months. And they still, because their channels are all failing. Like, so like, they have to revisit this fucking shit and make me have to relive this shit over and over and over and over again. And it's not fucking right. I have to hear two nights ago when I had my best friend in a fucking coma <laughs> that, oh yeah, look, John and Julie are trying to like scam people for suicide shit. Anybody who looks at those fucking pictures can see that I tried to fucking kill myself. Anyone who looks at that shit can see this. I'm not a fucking cutter. I've never been. He did use a lady Bic, Nikki, because Bic razors are the worst. Every time I use, have used a Bic razor, it has tore my legs up, tore them up. And no other razors do that. Like, Bic razors make me question if I know how to shave my legs. And I've only been shaving my legs for, like, 35 years now. So I'm pretty sure I know how to shave them. So you're right. He, It's a lady Bic. Thank you. And they're still saying to get a reaction out of me, like that, like I made it up and that, you know, they're, they're defending both me and Julie saying that me and Julie scanned this whole fucking suicide fucking attempt to fucking get money out of people. Does that look like something that was scammed? Motherfuckers.
Does that look like I scammed that? And for six fucking months, these fucking people keep talking about it and make me want to relive it. Talks a lot. His, uh, I guess a dear friend of his he grew up with is was in a coma. I mean, um, by his last live last night, he made it sound like she was um starting to come out of it and might have been more responsive. It's kind of that's how he made it sound. Anyway, by by the end, you know, on his last live, so. <laughs> Nikki. <laughs> yep. And all I wanted to fucking do was be left alone for two months. I haven't talked about anybody. And on Friday, I get a fucking blitzkrieg of everybody and their fucking mother talking about me and my fake suicide attempt. Does that look fake to any fucking buddy? Does that look fake? I'm waiting. Defame my name on YouTube, making sure that I don't, you know, that they that I'm a phony, I'm a fake, I'm a racist, I'm a fake suicide person, this, that, and the fucking other. <laughs> you know, who cares? Me, I care, because they're taking money out of my fucking pocket. They're, 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 they're making or five thousand dollars out of your bookshelf between the the Harry Potters and you just happen to be out of town in a hotel, but you just told everybody that you hide money in your bookshelf and everyone has your dress. It's oh Lord, it's no bullshit. Fuck it. Right <laughs> now. Add this to the top of the fucking list. And they do this to break me and to reach out to me and to go to fucking reaction. Go to fucking reaction. We go. I never wanted those pictures. And if you ask why I took those pictures in this place, because I was being bullied so fucking hard. I wanted to take a picture and my and show that I started bullying my life. I wanted to take a minute. Oh my God, we're really describing how you want to be a drama king. That it's more about the presentation of making people sorry to do it. Oh my God, you're sick. You are sick. So that's why I took the pictures. Because when I got back in June, on its own, I could not take the fucking hate. People would be like, I took the pictures. I don't think clearly when you're doing that i said listen if i go out maybe this will be like a, the more you know type of, fucking type of bullshit about people who get bullied on fucking line and this is what that brings them to so that's why i took the fucking pictures okay reddit um, okay i'm sorry let me see if i can fix it Just a sec. Hopefully, I'm going to fix it. 
Am I here? Can you hear me? And am I here? Hopefully. Hopefully you can hear me and I'm here. Oh my God, my stupid internet kicked me out. Ugh. Stupid. Um, let's see. Okay, let me, um, I don't mind three minutes. Let me find my, there it is. Okay. Okay, I'm back. You can hear me. Let me back three minutes. Hopefully this shit is fixed. All right, I'm going to press play and let me know. Oh no, my. Okay. This is the first It's so crackly. Damn it. Oh my gosh, I swear. I hate I hate my neck. This is what I want to do with I want my devices. I want to fight with my internet. I want to get into a knockdown, drag out brawl. With these things, not, not the people's <laughs> And I don't want to get, I don't want to fight with people. I want to fight with my technology. Uh, 
if my voice is crackly, it must, and it's not gonna. Let's see. Okay, is it still crackly? I'm at my point now. Um, Karen, I can't even, I can't, I mean, just a sec. I had yes, I need to Um, um my, phone. my phone is what I'm playing the uh, audio on on onto my Bluetooth speaker and I'm using my tablet stream here. That's what I've been doing since my computer decided uh, the CPU was drafted for me to stream content. Yeah, that's possible. Okay. All right, I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is turn my laptop on and see. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to do it on devices here. Am I crackly as I'm explaining this? Yeah, I'm crackling. That can't help things. My brain crackles. Um, I'm going to do a hard one on the laptop and see. Uh, I'm not going to share screen from in your butt. It might. Let's see. That's hilarious.
Let's see, is my internet running slow? Can't fucking hear me. Can you hear me now? Why isn't my bubble moving? Hello, hello, hello. Let me knock myself out. Okay, Ollie, <laughs> you're welcome. I'm sorry. It was a uh... well. I'm sorry to everybody else, but the least we could do for your daughter. <laughs> okay, good. Much better. All right. Um, let's see. Only other thing I want to try to do real quick. How do I? I don't know. We'll see. Hey, Zeus, you're welcome. It's the least I can do since I, uh, since you allowed me to play the uh, recordings of that disgusting night and those disgusting things that were said. So thank you for allowing me to share those. Okay. And I think now that I'm clear, let me, um, yay. Let me rewind again just a little bit and we'll get on with this. So, anybody else come in? Lala, hello, I missed you. Lee, hello again. And of course the scrolling is slow. Stuff might be slow, but sometimes it speeds up. I don't know. As long as it's working on, we're good. Let's see. Okay, here we go. And they do this, I meant to break me and get a reaction. And so here's, 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 and if you're the first picture in the first, it's because you both get all the pictures and and show that this is what cyberbullying does in like a life of David Gale type of all pictures. Because when I that amazes me, right there he is admitting that he took pictures, a photo, and just let him show everybody his paint or whatever. He wanted to be He wasn't as much as he wanted to. And it's selfish, narcissistic, it's very mentally ill and troubled. Are you doing it more about the oh, Jesus Criminy? So it's clear when I talk, but it's not clear. Oh, when I play the recording. Is that what I'm getting? It's 
When I talk, it's okay. But now when I play the recording, it's it's all messy. It's kind of roboting when I talk to you. Oh my gosh. Why does this shit want to be so... Oh my god. So annoying. Okay, bear with me. Okay. Thanks, Faye. Um, let's see if I can switch the audio. I'm seeing. Oh, geez. Let's see. I'm going to try to share a screen, but if I'm not getting any service like this, that's not going to work either. But let's just see what happens. And then I've got another couple of ways maybe to try to. Isn't this in order? Seriously? I hate the library. Oh my goodness, okay, just a sec. Yeah, I use Xfinity also, and they suck out in my area. Right, Lala? Yeah. That's going to be my last resort because Muzz is exhausted. She's been up all night. 
so I don't want to put her through that. Even though she's so kind to offer, and I know she means it, I am, and I will probably end up using her, but <laughs> let me exhaust my other options. Okay, let's see. And she also sent me an email, I think, to try to put that way. See how this works. Okay, let's see here. So fucking much right now. <laughs> and you want to add this to the top of the fucking list. And they do this to break me and get a reaction out of me. And so here you go. Here's your fucking reaction. Here's your fucking reaction. Here you go. I never wanted to show those pictures. And if you ask why I took those pictures in the first place, it's because I was being bullied so fucking hard. I wanted to take the pictures and end my life and show that this is what cyberbullying does in like a life of David Gale type of all all fucking way. So that's why I took the pictures because when I did that back in June, I wanted to die and I could not take the fucking hate I was getting anymore from these people on fucking line. I could not take it, not one motherfucking second. So I took the pictures and I figured in my fucking head at that time, because you don't think clearly when you're doing that, I said, listen, if I go out, maybe this will be like a fucking the more you know type of PSA fucking type of bullshit about people who get bullied on fucking line and this is what that brings them to. So that's why I took the fucking pictures. Okay, Reddit? Whoops. Took the fucking pictures. So, did you guys hear me before when I was going on and on about how yeah. Actually, just took the pictures for dramatics effect because he wanted it to be in. A, he wanted it. He wanted this perfect photo op scene of of the gore and everything else to try to prove to people. And he did it on. And it looks like he probably did it on Cody and not himself anyway. But I've already like repeated that three times, and so my passion for repeating it again is a little bit lost. Stupid robot computer and Muzz, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for everything. You are like my total hero. And let's continue. Okay, run it. I didn't, I didn't, I, when I did that back in June, I didn't do that just to silently fucking die and like kill myself. No, I wanted people to fucking know this is what happens to people who fucking get bullied on social fucking media. So he um posted on um I when he did the stream he posted really gory pictures of um an arm with blood all over it and some faded wounds underneath it um and then he also posted a picture of the floor 
that had blood spots all over it. And we were able to match, or they were able, not we, Reddit, although I was trying to find the picture on Reddit um, myself, but somebody found the picture, and it's the exact identical picture of when Cody, several months ago, Cody punched through a flat top stove. And when he punched through the flat top stove, there were these perfect little specks of blood that went all the way around the carpet, but nothing at all was on the carpet. Nothing. And then he didn't post, I guess, I don't remember seeing the, the end of the carpet where there was more blood. I don't remember him originally posting that, but he might have. So he reposted that last night on the stream, acting like it was the blood from when he did his fake attempt in June. And then he also posted pictures of a very gory uh, wrist. Yeah, Muzz can show them to you if you want. Uh, that people are speculating or do believe that they are Cody's when Cody did punch the stove because that is 100% what the blood markings are from. And there is proof of the blood markings being from that. Because, But, it's, uh, the, but like I said, the back half of the photo or the front half, one of the halves of the photo wasn't showing as much. Um, when he originally posted it months ago with the perfectly speckled spots of blood around the throw carpet and not on it, even though the carpet was directly under the stove. And after the fact, like when like I didn't die like i didn't want to show those pictures show the proof show the proof uh fucking these people with the fucking there's your fucking proof now you fucking see it i don't know when john will ever learn that the more proof he shows the less we believe him because it all contradicts the shit that he showed before <laughs> like and with everything that he posts and proves we find more lies let's continue and it's still, it's still, I have not, and I, I have not mentioned a name since, and I'm not going to now. I'm not. But this is what people like, and I'm not saying I'm going to do this now or whatever. I'm just saying. Like, you know, I, I had to hear people on a live saying, John made it up. There's no puddle of blood. He never hurt himself. The cops said he didn't touch himself. Well, there you go. There are the pictures. I don't know what to fucking tell you. I believe the cops, and we've already disproven the pictures. Thank you, Muzz. Thank you. And still, these people know. And now it's like, and Valerie, that is insane. Six hundred for all three, and I get pissed off. I have to pay two hundred for two of those. Wow. Defended me. That's the that's the best part about this whole fucking shit. It's my it's the friends, the friends that defended me, are now the ones saying I made it up. You can't make this shit fucking up. <laughs> I just always seem to fuck up. I am here for my friend, and now I, I don't even know. I don't. Nothing I do is ever fucking good enough. Nothing I show is ever fucking proof enough. Like, I I, I don't know what to fucking do anymore. I, I, I honestly fucking don't. Well, I figured that post wouldn't be up there long because it was graphic. So um, does anybody want to be like my um, scary picture liaison? If anybody wants to see the pictures of me and my slit wrists back in June, 
I will be happy to send them to you. Because this is the fucking life I have to live now. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll do you one better. There you go. There's a big giant gash in my fucking arm there. There you go. That's one. Since, since. Uh, YouTube would never allow what he's showing right now. Um, and for all of those that missed it at the beginning, when I originally uploaded this to uh, the upload channel, or not, when, when, when it was uploaded to the upload channel, I got an email um, immediately after that said that they were uh, taking it down for a community guidelines uh, infractions or whatever because of all it, because of the, the showing of the arms. And all of that. So, and then, like several hours later, I got an email from them telling me uh, all the places I could contact if I was um, wanting to self harm and so forth. So, YouTube is trying to handle things like that very responsibly. But there, this, these are pictures that would never be allowed on YouTube for that reason. And um, yeah, so I would. So, this video wouldn't would never really be shown on YouTube. And the rest of it, he's just in a dark car anyway. And then he's showing pictures that YouTube's not going to allow. Left and fucking right. There you go. How's that? There you go. Muzz, I don't see the other links. Um, you, I'm sure you sent them, though. They just aren't coming up in my drop-down box. Making this up, right? I'm making this up, guys, aren't I? I'm right? Like, I didn't do it. It, it. This is a big old scam by me and Julie. We're just trying to get money from people. There's my carpet right there on the floor. That's my fucking wrist. There's my fucking floor. There's the blood. Uh, I do now. As soon as I, I had to leave Muzz, the thank you. Now I see. I'm sorry. And it interrupted the stream. Just a sec. That was pretty about. To see the pictures of me and my slit wrist back in June, I will be happy to send them to you. Because this is the fucking life I have to live now. You know what? I'll do one better. There you go. There's a big giant gash in my fucking arm there. There you go. That's one. Fucking right, there you go. I'm this side, aren't I? I did it. This is a big old scam. I need Julie. We're just trying to get money from people. There's my carpet right there. Or if this is a big old scam, I be and Julie. We're just trying to get money from people. There's my carpet right there on the floor. That's my fucking wrist. 
There's my fucking floor. There's my floor. There's no fucking mud where. Right there a lot from the other night. Oh, freckled, um, you asshole. I said I took these pictures because I wanted to die and I wanted to show people. Well, that would be my Wi-Fi service kicking me right out. I see the little signal bar on my um screen get low, and then all of a sudden I was kicked out. Agree, Mona. And thank you for your patience. Let's continue. Did it pause? Man. Lord. Okay, the, the recording paused without pausing. That's weird. Let's see. A damn floor. No, it's not. Does that look like catch up to fucking you? Okay. It's just a way I don't know. I'm just like, she's like, drinking my, like, so won't come in. And I remember, like, I don't know what the fuck about you. I'm fucking lying. These are my fucking varieties. Yeah, this is from six months ago. Six months ago. And people are still going live and saying, I made this up. That's my carpet. I mean, there was a puddle of fucking blood. She didn't leave. She didn't go cut itself. She did it up. And I'm fucking tired. Leave me the fuck alone. No. Alone. No. I don't need fucking help. I am I'm scared on medication. This was <laughs> from six months ago. He's he's centered, folks. <laughs> He said it all right. There was a five hour lunch about this. And I'm sick of it. Have a year. Everyone's saying how I'm enjoying the respect of your fucking money. I said, I don't ever know. That does not. Yeah, it's for terrorists. Julie's a sucker and a scammer. Right there. You think that's in my 
Do you see how open it is? This was not any fucking safe. Nothing safe. Is it unclear? I'm clear, aren't I? I think I'm okay. Really, it's the robot again? No. Oh. Oh my God, I hate robots. I want to fight the robot. I want to fight the robot. I want to fight the devices. I want to fight Xfinity. Can somebody set this up for me? I'm getting the ring with. Oh my goodness. Okay. Dropping it. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Where are you? What can I see? Um, are you even here, Moz? Mm -hmm. I don't think you're here, Moz. I think. It's Can you hear me? Oh, there you are. Uh, hear me. Check private I chat if you can't hear me. Don't be a ball. Check private chat. Can you hear me now? Yeah, they hear me. Close everything you have if you hear me. And I'll play it from here. Because you're still a bit roboty when you talk. Can you put in the private chat? Because I can't quite understand you. Um, the time you are at the recording, at the, uh, I'm going to play the audio too. Just tell me where you are. All right, let me knock myself back. Okay, hold on a second. I want to type in the chat. Close everything, power it off. Device open. Let's see what happens. Thank you for your patience, everyone. Let me see if I can, you can help me figure out where we were in the recording while she's figuring this out. Let's see. It's this one. Mm hmm Hold, um, you asshole. I said that, like, I took these pictures because I wanted to die, and I... Was that around where we were? Do you remember that? Is it okay there? Let me know. Waiting for somebody to tell me. Yeah, okay. I'll just go from there. All right. Now we're good. 
Get your snacks. Buckle up. Thank you for your patience. We're good now. I wanted to show people what the fuck. This is this is like catch up to you. How is the gash in my arm? It's ketchup. Ketchup. Sorry, not ketchup. Arm ketchup. Ketchup. See, I'm I'm so fucking tired of these fucking people. Like, I I, I don't know what to fucking do anymore. Honestly, like, it's not fucking ketchup. That's my fucking blood. It's not your blood. It's Cody's blood. Tomato, tomato. That's not fucking ketchup on the goddamn floor. No. That's correct, but they're gravitational drops, which means they're bleeding from above and they're dropping down. That is not the same as a pool of blood. Just saying I've watched enough Criminal Minds to know the difference. No, it's not. Does that gash there? Does that look like catch up to fucking you? Freckle, I don't know. I'm just like not. I'm sorry then. If you're. I'm going to try speeding it up. Let me know if it's too fast. Be nice. Like, I just saw one off comment. Like, they, I, I don't know what to fucking tell you. It's not fucking Heinz 57 fucking varieties. Heinz 57 varieties. That's funny. Heinz 57 variety. That's funny. Come on. Give it to him. Give him that. Okay, Coochie back. I hear you. Yeah, I hear you too. Great. Okay. I'm going to mute myself and you just tell me when to pause. And... Um, oh, wait. Keep talking. Wait, what are we doing? No, I'm playing it. I was just commentating while you were gone so that you wouldn't have to lose any. Oh, no, shit, you're roboting again. Keep talking. You're roboting. You're roboting. Did you close all your devices? Um, like, even your yeah. phone? Shut off all the apps, you know? Everything closed out. Except mm. my stream yard on my laptop. Do you want to try it on your phone instead? Yeah, I want to go Okay. Okay. I don't need help. This is from six months ago. Six months ago. And these people... He's cured from his non-problem. ...are still going live and saying, I made this up. That's my carpet. They're saying there is no puddle of fucking blood. John didn't bleed. John, did, John didn't even cut himself. He made it all up. Listen, I know he's ashamed of being a cutter. I understand that because he's very much doesn't want people to think that. But when he showed his wrists on that IG, there were a lot of little cuts. If you see this giant gash that they've zoomed into so much that you can't actually tell where it is on the body, there are no cuts around it. There are no scars around it. It's not the same body part. And I'm fucking tired. Leave me the fuck alone. I don't need fucking help. I am good. I am censored. I'm on medication. This was from six months ago. And on Friday night, there was a five hour live done about this after a month, six, a, a half a year later. And everyone's saying how I, me and Julie are scamming people for fucking money because I faked the suicide attempt. I want everybody to fucking know that this was not a fake suicide attempt. Do you see the gas right there? I just wish like people wouldn't insult our intelligence. Like if literally the cops found out that you were home like i don't know what you're arguing against like science and facts and reports like it's it reminds me of someone else in the community who does this but like at a certain point just like stop tripling down it's embarrassing and it's insulting to my intelligence in my wrist you see how open it is this was not anything fucking faked Nothing faked. Oh my God, these fucking people. A gen in the city. John, you're literally foaming at the mouth. You need serious professional help. Who the fuck are you? And like, go away. Like, see, even like, you know, when I show this shit, they still can't fucking deal with it because it doesn't fit their fucking narrative. They said for a half a year, I made this shit up. And now when I show the shit, 
they can't fucking stomach it. I, 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 you know, it's just fucking insane. Also, sorry to interrupt again. If a cut was that deep on your wrist vertically, there would be a lot more blood. It's not a meaty part of your body. As disgusting as that description sounds. I am tired of people fucking lying about me. And the same people who I walked away from. Same people who I have not mentioned in two months. These same people who say that they are victims. Oh, we're victims. Oh, we're victims. We're victims. We're victims. We're, we're, we only reply to people who are attacking us. I have not attacked anybody in two months. Two months. And I've only ever attacked people when they've come for me first. And what, what is... Just because you haven't in two months doesn't mean two months ago you didn't blame people and write their names and have them written in an article for causing you to try and unalive yourself. That's why. What you don't seem to understand is people aren't doing this for shits and giggles. Exactly, Nikki. There's tendons. There's fit. Like there's all sorts of things. Um, just like it, nobody would care if you didn't blame people for it. That's the difference. You literally put people's names in articles, published articles, that it caused you, or Monica did, or whoever, that it caused you to do this when you didn't really do it. That's the problem that you're not seeming to understand. I show you now. Like you, look at my, look at my channel. It's all content, TV shows. And look at these people's views on their channels who are attacking me. They're lucky if they break a thousand views. But when they when they re-bring me up, it doubles or triples or quadruples. Dirty fucking people for clicks and views at like at Christmas fucking time, no fucking less. And they say they're the victims? You are the fucking attackers. I'm the fucking victim now. No one is fucking talking about you. Not me. But they're but 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 they're they're the victims, guys. And you know who I'm talking about. They're the victims. They're the victims, right? Because after two months, they have to go do a five-hour live about me saying, oh, me and Julie scared people to fake a... Unpopular opinion. They're not victims either. They went along with this with you and they blamed people as well. They just happened to see the light and pretend that that didn't happen. So, eh. Suicide. So I hope now that you fucking know without a doubt in your fucking mind that, the, that I really did try to do that back in June. You see the fucking pictures now. There was a puddle of fucking blood. I slipped them right down the fucking center. So leave me the fuck alone. Leave me alone. Because you are fucking evil. Evil. Yeah, I may say bad things when I push it to a fucking corner, but that's two months. I just wonder if you've ever said you say bad things and then you put a period instead of when I'm pushed into a corner or because someone said it first. You sound like a few other content creators that uh, do that. Only when I get attacked first. Well, everyone thinks they're attacked first. Nobody like it is rare that someone out of nowhere goes after someone, even if they see a slight or like a little or like a nudge in their direction. They think it's an attack and they're attacking back. I hate when people say that. I only attack first. Well, I mean, I only attack back. Everyone thinks they're responding to something. So like, again, calm down. The growl, I know. The, like, I, I, yeah. And you still can't fucking let it go. The post get reported on my other account. Is it still there? Just so I know. Can someone tell me if it's still there on the official account? I knew it would get reported, and that's why I didn't want to post it. I knew it. Show the proof. I show the proof it gets reported. Oh, there's no You Okay. Honey Bunny. Let's put the two clips together. You literally said at the beginning, I posted it for everyone to see. YouTube will probably take it down. And then when they took it down, you cried about it and blamed other people. Yeah, I think she's maybe, Nikki, I'm guessing, restarting her stuff, which I hope she's doing. Um, cause that'll probably help. I just don't want to make everyone sit and wait, but I could, if you'd rather listen to her. I mean, I would, she does much better at this stuff than I do. Oh, did, whoa. Her ears were like red. She knew we were talking about her. Are you back? I don't hear you. 
and you're not muted. Mm -hmm. Coach? You guys don't hear her, do you? Hmm. I know she returned, but she's, she's soundless. No, you don't. Okay. Maybe I'll keep going while she figures it out. Cause I, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll keep going. Proof. So I, I don't know what you fucking want from me anymore. Cody is right by me. I just needed to come into my car and vent for a fucking second. So. Cooch? You broken up, but keep talking. Let me see if it gets better. Oh, no, really bad robot. Okay, she's gonna switch to her phone, people. <laughs> oh, he's right there. He's right, you know, he's fine. He's tired of it, too. He told me not to do this, and I, I said to him, I can't take another fucking second of it. If you can't take another second of it, why are you doing this? This only makes it worse. You know that. You know better. Why are you pretending you've never done this before? Nobody wants me to get another reaction. And listen, that's all they want from me is, a, is this reaction. That's all they want. And they got it. Um... But I'm on IG Live, I'm not trying to monetize this or make money off of this or whatever. I'm doing this here. Don't you have memberships on IG that you never go live on, membership only, and they're like five bucks a person or something? Because I'm just... <sighs> well, I hope that, like, you got what you needed the proof um and if anybody wants to see the screenshots of my fucking wrist you can reach out to run for the hills 99 i just made ellie if, if you want to see horrific pictures of me slitting my fucking wrist which i can't post it'll get reported um dm run for the hills 99 and she'll fucking send them to you i am tired of people saying that well shame on you run for the hills 99 i made this up for fucking money it's so fucking foul after my mother killed herself there's, there's nothing more foul you can fucking say. Stop disgracing her memory with your lies. At all. At all. And I'll be fucking damned if these people... Listen, I wish I had the fucking money to, to put lawsuits on all these bitches. I, I don't. I, I don't have it. Yeah, I know, Nikki, but I wonder if behind the scenes, I wonder if because of the whole hoopla, people are afraid to give him money to be like laughed at, you know, fair enough. And so I wonder if after the foamy live, he gets like sympathy from new, new rich hags. Like they're all in different states. You know, it, it's, it'll, it would cost probably like hundred K in retainers to fucking go after all these people in different states who are just saying just rancid lies about me. Trying to Freedom of speech disparage me because they see i've not been fucking talking about them i'm not in the drama anymore and all i want to do is talk about the shows and my numbers are back up and like it, it's driving them fucking crazy because i got away from them it's like fucking leaving scientology now i know how leah fucking remedy feels no you don't she's famous these people just won't fucking stop if they won't stop putting my hashtags in their fucking title saying, John Yank fake suicide. Mm. Like, so they... Mm. I hate when he does that. There's your fucking proof. So if you're going to tell me that this is a fake fucking suicide attempt, well, I don't know what to fucking tell you. You can see the gash in my fucking wrist right there. It's not a gash, and it's not a wrist. If that was a wrist, your hand would have fallen off. Like I, like, I don't know what more I need to fucking show... I don't know what, you know, because it doesn't fit their fucking narrative. I don't fucking know anymore. No one wants to see anything. They just want you to admit you lied and apologize for it and move on. That's about it. But this is fucking bullshit. <sighs> okay. 
Oh no, Jenny Lynn. <laughs> you ever seen? On Friday, I had eight different creators literally at the same fucking time recording fucking phone calls, saying uh, that like uh, me and Julie made up fucking shit, and there was no puddle of blood, and I never even touched myself. I mean, you know. So there you go. Now you fucking see it. And I swear to fucking God, if one more fucking person goes with this narrative, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. That's a nice threat right there. Um, also, I'm going to say what I always say, the confidence with which some of these people know they're making up shit bananas to me. Okay, that's the first one done. I'll go to. I'll start the second IG. Then he goes to another IG where it cuts him off at exactly an hour because that's the limit, and then he moves to YouTube. Um, I think it's this one. I haven't heard this one yet. Just tell me. <laughs> Live. Hey everyone. I love how social media works. I really do. Because... Here I am posting pictures of what people ask of me and then I get reported and lose accounts and shit like that, whatever. I'm fine. I was fine. I'm mad. I'm mad that certain people will not leave me alone. And no matter what I do, it's not good enough. No matter how much I ignore, it's not good enough. And here I am with Cody. I don't know where he is behind me. There he is. Hi, hi. I just have to go in the car. Oh my God. That oh, I'm sorry. Well, I wanted to make sure that like they knew that it was me. Oh wait, what happened? I just had to go in the car. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. I had to turn on these like horrible freaking lights. God, they're so bad. And the asterisk. The asterisk. Well, that's over here. We're going to get to the point. We're in a smoking room, by the way. No, I didn't have any counts removed and nobody reported it. It's the same thing that Cooch said. The minute you put it up, YouTube uh, took it down like immediately. You can't put up shit like that. So, um, <laughs> we're allowed to smoke in here, y'all. Um, oh, they want you to know they're in a hotel and they got a smoking room. So don't be mad that they're smoking in the room. I, yeah. You'll never know what it's like to be in a situation and have people say just the worst things about you on fucking earth. Oh, thank you guys for the anniversary wishes. Thank you. And oh, yeah. Fun fact. It's their anniversary. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not laughing. But what a way to celebrate. And, you know, what really got me is that, like, you know, six months later, people who defended me are now turning against me and saying, well, he made it up. Well, you, you didn't think so. I didn't make it up back then. So, huh? So was I lying then or were you lying now or were you lying before or who's, who's telling the truth? Are you going to lie in the future? What is it? <laughs> and it's shitty. No, we're not living in a fucking motel oh, again. Wow. What the fuck is wrong with everybody? Why is that the weirdest question? Okay. Why is that the weirdest question? They did live in a motel once before. They're in a random hotel. Why is that the weirdest? So offended. No, we don't live in a fucking motel. Bye, whore. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Whore? Like, I'm in no fucking mood. You supposed to want a whore? Fucking mood. Zero point zero zero mood for fuckery right now. Oh, my cigarette went out. You know what? Guys. On your phone, it won't open. Have you tried turning off your phone and turning it back on? Because you're going to have to get in there eventually, I think. Well, obviously. If it was my anniversary, I'd be doing something, something instead of being online. <laughs> Maybe try restarting your phone. Although I'm sure you already tried that. Like. No, you know, and like just that one comment, are they living in a motel again? Like, no. I, like I, I, it just, it's just, and see, that's what sets us off because you don't know our life. You don't know our life. You don't know what we're going through right now. You don't know what what we're dealing with, with family and friends and all that other stuff. Like, so 
um, I would watch that family comment because you're going to make me rage a little. So let's not touch that again. Why are you so quick to judge? Just because you see we're in a hotel? Well, yeah, you know what? We're in a hotel right now. Because, because we're, we're like here for a goddamn friend visiting that might not fucking live. And it doesn't matter, oh, like... I, but yet, if they were in the same... Oh, they live in a motel. We live in a motel. Jesus Christ. Like, that just fuck. These people are like... Like, really get an apartment. Yeah. We, we have a house. We, we have a house. Maria, get rid of that one, too. Please. We can't buy a house every time we go to visit someone. We have a house. So if we're in a motel or a hotel, does that mean we're homeless? What the fuck is wrong with all y'all? They're not right in the brain. They're not right in the brain. We're down here. Support. They're not right in the brain? You need to sh calm down from that comment and move the fuck on. A friend that's in a coma, but okay, quick question. When was the friend in the coma? Because the first IG he said I heard aneurysm, stroke, and pneumonia. I didn't hear coma. And I could be wrong, so correct me. But now all of a sudden she's in a coma. I could be wrong. I'm always often wrong, and I don't have a good memory, so you let me know. We can't stay at a hotel, so now we live in a hotel again? <laughs> so if, we're, if we go on vacation, and we go live from our motel room, we're homeless and we'll be in a motel. No, if we go God, on vacation, fucking mighty. we have to buy a house, and then go on vacation there, and then go back to our other house. That's what they want us to do. Come on, get real people. Come on. Yeah, that's what people meant. Been coked up for a long time with COVID. And they say we're like yeah, alcoholics and drug addicts. Like really? Like I like I just I just don't understand it. Yes, really. Cody, can you um set my computer up, please? Addicts. Why wouldn't we just stay at home and just do drugs at our own house? I have to edit something. The fuck does drug addict have to do with if we were drug addicts, we'd stay home and do drugs at our own house? What are you talking about? You just said you're there for a friend. What does that have to do with doing drugs? That's like saying, no, it's not cold outside. There's a green rug on the floor. Like, what? <laughs> what? Those two things don't correlate. He said they were moving an hour before this. All right, well, there you go. I don't know, somewhere. <laughs> Why would I spend money on to go to a hotel when I can stay at my own house and do fucking drugs? Like okay, with that argument, Cody, you're saying that the opposite of that is you're doing drugs at this hotel. Why would I go home and do drugs? I can just do them here. Like, what are you saying? That's just, that's just I am tired. I'm very fucking tired. You guys don't know the fucking week that we had. No fucking idea. Some of y'all do. Some of y'all do. But the rest of y'all that want to sit here and talk bullshit and blah, 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 and run your fucking mouth, like, you don't fucking know what we've been through. Where we are right now, this it's is not a vacation. Business. None of your business. Don't worry about it. It has nothing to do with you. And if you don't like it, well, then get the hell out. <laughs> I am just, I just can't. Like, it's our wedding anniversary. Well, it was. It's, it's you know, past 12 o'clock. So, but, you know, we didn't sleep yet. So, it's all right. But, you know what? But, we like, still spent it with somebody that we wanted to. And, and it, it was still a good. We're not asking anything of anybody. But, you know, I just went live earlier. Never. You would never do such a thing. Or just to tell people why I'm, I haven't been going live and why I'm not posting. And just turn into, like, this big, giant, like, clusterfuck of bullshit when all I was doing was being honest. And, like, I, it's just. Spell honest. Like, I. I I try to catch you in lies. They want to, they want to, like, they want you to go ballistic. That's what they want. Well, they got it. They got That's it. That's what they want. They, they got, got it. And I apologize to all my friends for giving in. But, like, I can't hear one more fucking time. It doesn't just affect me. You don't understand. Like, when people lie about me, it, it just doesn't affect me. It affects everybody around me. Like, you know, them saying, like, I didn't slip my wrist, which I did, which I, which I showed, which I can't, I can't post again because I'll lose my Instagram account if I do. That just that live I just did was reported, so that's gone. Um, the post I what are you talking about, Honey Bunny? That live is still up on your Instagram. Like, why are you insulting my intelligence? Do you not think people can just go look at it? Like, do you think people are just gonna take your word for it? Fucking weirdo. But my rest of it was reported, so that's gone. So I can't, I can't show them. Um, if you want to see the damage I did to myself back in June, June fifteenth, I said uh, run for the hills ninety nine. Reach out to her. And she'll show them to you privately because I, I, I and that, like, why is it that I have to be at this fucking point in my life where like somebody has to do this? Because, like, you know, I, I just people will not leave us alone about any of this. What happened in the fucking past, leave it in the past. 
Stop making us live through all of this over and over and over. And that's what people are doing. Stop already. Stop. <laughs> so you want to sit here and cry victim and blah, blah, blah. But yet you're not a victim. You're the one that's actually harassing. Um, honey, honey, not quite. You're a bully. You're a bully. And if you've noticed, like I have still, despite all these lives tonight, I have not mentioned one person's name. Well, that's about to change. <laughs> you need to stop social media. Uh, no, that's my income. No, well, you know what? You stop being on social media then. If you don't like it, well, then get off of our channel. There's millions of other ones that you can go and be an asshole to and everything else. So go and do that to somebody else. Leave us alone. We didn't like, you. You need to get, like, so stream privately if you don't want people on there. Fuck the people who say, you guess what? This is my job. Like, literally, like, this is, like, my income. I know, right? Cleared pancreatitis, which means he must not be drinking, which means this is a psychotic break or something. I'm not laughing at a psychotic break. I'm laughing because it's it's from drinking. Like I'm not some Ricky, I'm not some Ricky Dink fucking like asshole who like starts a 90 fiance fan page and like no, I'm way more elevated than that. You've already. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't expect. That. You peasants who start and work hard at their at their blogging, you peasants. Oh, hi, Cooch. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing. <laughs> and I can't hear Moz. I hear you, though. Someone tell her I hear her. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, I had to mute. I sneak. Can you hear me, Cooch? <clears throat> I heard you. Thanks. Okay. okay, now I can hear you. It's my internet. It's my yeah. internet. You're wrong. <clears throat> yeah, you're wrong. So everything, everything is because my internet is nothing else. Everything is not a I'm not going to 10 years. I'm sorry. So no one heard anything you said because you're roboting, but I have an idea. What if you call me on the phone and I put you on speakerphone? Uh, so let's just improve it off. Not on the good end. Can't hear you. Do you want to type it in the private chat? Because I can't hear you. Or Facebook or whatever. Just something because I can't hear anything. <clears throat> and she's gone. Well, that was mechanic bits. <laughs> well, let's keep going. She'll come back. Like and the other jobs that we've actually had, but yet you can't ruin YouTube because you can't reach out to the boss of YouTube. So that's why you keep doing this to us, but yet you ruined our other jobs and everything else. So what do you what other jobs? What other jobs? Stop it. What do you want from us? What do you want? But yet, you feel victimized and everything else, but yet you're still in. I have to, like, harassing us. Because you, so you don't understand, like, when they put my name in a hashtag saying, like, John. Listen, I'm not saying people aren't obnoxious and going to call his landlord and call his this and whatever. But let's be honest to the two of you, if you're listening, which you're not. If you got jobs and just didn't tell anyone online, nobody would have a problem like nobody would reach out to anything you'd have a job you could do your youtube without sh oversharing la di da problem solved it's fake suicide like i lose members i lose subscribers i lose views and this is my fucking income this is my bread and butter 
So yeah, it's a big fucking deal when people fucking lie horribly about me. And when they try to fake like all this other shit, oh, he said this and he said that and like time after time and like months and months and even years ago and replaying old fucking videos of bullshit that don't even fucking matter. Like this is what you guys are about? Come on. Come on already, y'all. Jesus Christ. Uh, don't you get tired? Don't you get tired? Jeez. What are you going to do? Like, when Joan's gone, you, you're going to move on to the, another person? No, that talking Who's about. the next person? Jesus Christ. I hope this never, ever happens to anybody else because when it does, you're, you're going to really realize this is not fucking cool, y'all. Fucking stop. Y'all? Ah. Like, fucking stop. Leave our fucking names out of your mouth. All we do is just want to talk about the TV show. It's like, why the fuck am I still being... Like, you know, my people, I Why never, you guys need I'm not, so and I'm not going to speak on anybody's name right now. I'm not going to give them that satisfaction. I'm Why not, I'm not, this? but like, I parted ways with a bunch of people that were dragging me down. And like said people, um, are just fucking livid that I moved on because they thought that I needed them. I, I don't need anybody. No. I don't need a, I don't need a fucking soul. We started this by ourselves and we did. And you know why? You know why I don't need anybody? It's because like, I have connections. And I, I have Coach, is back. Can I hear you? I hear you. <gasps> I hear you too. Okay, I'm gonna mute and shut up for a second before no, I jinx myself. Totally clear. Yeah, but how long am I gonna be clear? I'm just don't really. Don't jinx it. <laughs> I'm gonna cuss if I don't mute myself. I just fucking cussed out my phone, telling you what was going on. I just said fucking like five times in a row. So you spoke like me, is what you're saying. And I mixed it with a few DGs. This fucking GD, fucking GD, fucking GD, fucking GD internet. Well, I still hear you clearly. So, that's oh my like, God. Nobody jinx it. Everyone in the chat, no jinxing allowed. <laughs> Let's just keep going. Hi, everybody that I missed. Hi, Gina Marie. She just got here. So, you didn't miss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to smile again. Let's go. Like, I have connections. That's why people follow me. So, like, so, it's not even just my shit has been washed in and out this whole year. Like, I, I don't need rinky dink motherfuckers on YouTube who are who have one thousand. Okay, can we just the second time he said rinky dink and I can't, I can't help it. But, Cooch, you don't have to tell me like when to pause. If you just like start talking, I'll pause it because I don't have it. I'm on share screen, right? So, it's easier. Okay. And subs and think they're the shit. They're not as talented. I, like I, I like it, and who just want to talk about people? I right don't need down. that. And they saw I don't need that. And they see me still succeeding. I've been at this for like twelve years. Yes. Do you know how many people it. have come and gone out of my oh, life God, in twelve God. years? <laughs> like bloggers. Hey. hey, Gigi. Do you know how famous he is? <laughs> You know the people that have come and gone from his life because of all the people that he's drunkenly blackout drunk, cussed out drunk, and said horrible, mean, disgusting things to them? Because they've risen above. They've risen above. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Ridiculous. And yes, I really need a 420, you guys, so badly. Thank you. Let's all just smoke until 420 and after, and then I'll be calm. <laughs> years i've been doing this and there are people that somebody has told me about how she's doing right now <laughs> okay talk about reaching in the past that's your comparison home depot jen that's how long ago was that dude hey lita how you doing too i'm just saying there are people oh i can oh i sure can so, yeah. <laughs> how's that corvette girl are you racing and killing people now? I think he's been dying to say Lita's name for like so long because he wasn't supposed to say it for like 18 months. And so now he wants to get on in on the making fun of Lita with the Corvette action like a year later when it's all stale and dead. Can you okay. explain this Corvette thing? I have no idea what he's talking about. Yeah, I guess that I don't know if like they put a down payment on a Corvette or something, but they ordered a Corvette and then it like took a really long time for them to get it. And nobody believed that they were getting a Corvette. And then they took pictures of themselves in the Corvette and everybody said that they just went to the dealer and hopped in a Corvette and took pictures. And I think that I'm, I'm under the impression they did eventually get the Corvette, but I don't know if, um, 
I don't know where, where the people stand on believing if they have the Corvette or not, because a lot of this happened when I was a hag. So the hags didn't believe anything about Lita. Lita couldn't possibly have a Corvette according to any hag in the world. Um, and that's really the only thing, the only story I know is the hag version of the story. Am I missing why anyone cares that she has a Corvette? Yeah, because um, she was, she, I believe, was voted by several different publications as like the the most hated um, um, 90 Day Fiance cast member of everybody for quite some time. There's probably people now who have beaten her, but um, she was probably the most hated for quite some time. So, so I mean, another did someone was mad at. Right. I got you. I got you. And I guess it's not a mass produced car anymore. Glenn Crack Econo Lodge. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> Just like fun fact, what hotel would allow them to scream for that long and not knock on the door? I know. Maybe they don't have anybody checked in on either side of them. Either side of only- them? The whole freaking like floor. <laughs> Yeah, but if you're if I'm walking by and I hear them, as long as I get in my room and I don't hear anything, I'm not going to care. That's true. So. Yeah, I know, Gigi. I saw you try to, like, ask a question. <laughs> that was brave. Hi, Gigi. It was brave. She went in there. Unless they're surrounded by tweakers. Yeah, and somebody said um, that it was, like, a really bad area, too. So they might be surrounded by tweakers. I mean, the pillows looked kind of nice, like it was a three-star, but I've been told that's not a great area, so. Oh, I don't know where he is. Um, it's somewhere in, um, it looks like it's possibly somewhere in South Carolina, in the southern part of South Carolina is what it kind of looks like. Or North Carolina, hmm. one of the Carolinas. Uh, who lives in the Carolinas that he's there for? Whoever, pa- or whoever is. is oh, really that friend. Sick. Got you, got you. Yeah. I could have sworn he said the friend was in New York, but I also just made that up in my head. I digress. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't unless he slipped. Whatever. Okay. I believe you. Crack shack. <laughs> Ew, Gina Marie. <laughs> Ew. No, then her next comment's gross. <laughs> Gracie heads on it yet. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> 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 uh, uh. <laughs> They've been up for the three days they've been there. <laughs> you know what's like, okay, you want to hear my weird like thing about him? He's always on the verge of a breakdown when the hair starts going down in the face. Like I noticed it about a week ago. He stopped putting the hair back. Yeah. Well, that's because it's growing out enough that he, right. I guess, doesn't have to put it back. He can. It starts like falling in the face and like he leaves it messy. And then I'm like, oh, we're, we're bound for a breakdown soon. He had the something about Mary um, hairstyle going on last night, though. <laughs> it was hilarious. Just a big chunk in the front, all stuck up in the yes, air. Yes, something with the grease, apparently. Yeah, it was totally something about Mary. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, let me. Who wanted to be, like, known, suing everybody. Where's, Where's Lita now? Where's Daddy to pay off those debts? Last time I heard, she owes Sherelle eighty thousand dollars in um, lawyers' fees for a bullshit lawsuit. Because she couldn't afford it, so now she had to refight it or something like that. That's what I read. Home Depot Jen um, is living in a shopping cart in Gary, Indiana. Uh, Her husband left her. The house is gone. She can't even. She don't even have room for her own child, so she can't even take care of her child. So where you at, Jen? Husband has the child. Oh, they're mean. They are so mean. There's no. Who are you to talk about other? What? Moral authority. Right. I mean, because they were about to be living in shopping carts in Seaside Heights. Right. So they need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know these people. Like, they're before my time. But who are you of all people? Home Depot Jen recently has gone through a divorce. And she, unfortunately, got a DUI several months ago. Yeah. And so now he's being a dick and throwing all of his issues that he has in her face. <laughs> Because, like, like he's going to slam her for drinking and right. for living in a shopping cart when, yeah, exactly, Glenn Craig, they're projecting so much because if they they are, like, lucky they haven't gotten DUIs and they're not living in shopping carts they're at the moment. They're probably not in the same place because of rich, middle-aged white women. Yep. And Home Depot Jen um, took a beautiful mugshot. I didn't realize how pretty she was. <laughs> 
Like, and if you look at it a mugshot, then I'm sure that she has no problem um, um, living on her own and, and doing well. So that's anyway. right, Gigi. She was got a 10 for you. And you know what, John? If you're nice enough, <laughs> you might give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? She probably won't. So <laughs> right. Yeah, probably not. Probably I'm not gonna let her. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Okay. She has no room in her little studio, Cause... little and like, that little Winnebago thing. And that is because they were infatuated with me and they thought they were gonna beat me. And here I am, and where are they? Two strikes. That's already two strikes. Baby. I'm pretty sure, you know, because um Lita on, Lita tried to try, Lita tried to put me in jail a million times and then she added me to a bullshit lawsuit and they forget that I get all the, the, the Sorry, Lita tried to put him in jail. Can you contextify that, please? <laughs> um she tried to file, I guess, the ROs and stuff on him. Oh, so and won the RO. So if he had broken the RO, she could have possibly, you know, gotten him locked up. All right, and that was some... sorry, go on. No, I was saying that was an 18 month RO. Okay. Well, I'll get him some Ben Gay for that stretch. And, and when it first when the first RO, when the RO very first came out, he got so scared to say her name, he wouldn't let anybody in chat. He thought like that he would lose everything and go to prison if anybody in chat even said her name. He was so dramatic. That's like uh how G B is being with Amber with the C and D. Yeah. <laughs> oh Lord, God bless. So I know everything's going on there. And um last I heard, Lita owes Sherelle about eighty grand. In um, malicious lawsuit, and you know, listen, and Lita's, Lita's lawsuit was bullshit. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy that Sherelle's gonna get that money. I, 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 I may not care I'm much for Sherelle, that, but I'm happy Sherelle's getting that money, honey. But I, you know what? I'm glad she won, and she, you know what? She needs to pay her. And you know what? Good for you, Sherelle. Get it, girl. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm always gonna be here, and yeah, there gonna be people that there. come and fucking go. He's a cockroach. He's always gonna be there. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. And I am. I am, I am the OG motherfucker. Cockroach, herpes sore, whatever. He's an OG. <laughs> the gift that keeps on giving. He's the OG, motherfuckers. No. <laughs> and I know I've, I've had, you know, a bunch of people now, like, just really trying to get the best of me. And they'll get the best of me here and there, like, tonight. Yeah, of course they will. Listen. That don't mean that huh, we ain't going to come out on top. So, um, it is what it is. Just realize it. I, and despite my hair being all, all crazy right now, um, you know, remember how boisterous Lita was? Doing lies about me every night, uh, going crazy on her stories. Where is Lita now? Is that Corvette still in your driveway, honey? She made fun of your, of, of your, she made fun of my take off Mustang because yeah, she goes, oh, Mustang, which is beautiful. Yeah, Lita. Beautiful fucking car. And it's paid off. And she's going to sit there and say, oh, this and this and this. And oh, you're fucking shitty this and you're fucking Honda. And then Eric going live saying, surrender, John. Really? Sur I, I'll, I give you 40 hours to surrender because Lita always wins. You ain't winning now, bitch, are you? Both cars are paid off. And yeah, Glenn Crack. That's what I was saying. I was like, he's talking to people who don't know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> Well, they might know who Lita is because they're 90 Day fans, but they don't know they any know the of the context, history. Though, of like the yeah, they have no idea what this Corvette is. Or yeah, he's just ranting to himself. <laughs> or Home Depot Jen. They definitely don't know right. anything about Home Depot Jen. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Still fucking lease. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you. Well, they were so high and mighty. But, um, Thank you, Sandra. That's good to know. I hope that she and Eric are spinning around in that Corvette, happy as hell and done with all this shit. I mean, good for them. When he's like, what is she doing? I'm like, I don't know, having a life and being happy? <laughs> yeah, she left all this shit behind. Once yeah, she like, got uh, the RO and stuff and all that, she just said, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> like, I like that he's like thinking she's like at the bottom of the barrel of life because she's not on YouTube anymore. Right. Like, what is your litmus test of life? You know what I mean? Because he's so happy on YouTube. Because you're you're just the you're just the epitome yeah. of success in life. I know happy. he's winning. <laughs> like, like, what are you talking about? He's like, what? Where is she now? Um, I don't know. In a house. In a, a Corvette, driving around. With in a Corvette house. with a husband, happy. I don't know. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> Fantastic. 
on that lawsuit. lawsuit. I get all that. And last I saw, uh, uh, Sherelle got her on this <laughs> thing. Um, it was a malicious that? lawsuit, it and it, it's it's when people try to sue somebody, and but it's bullshit. So you could use like the slap. I think it's called slap. And um, Does that means like she gets like yeah, and, and, and like, she, oh yeah, and all of it. Uh, oh yeah, uh, and, not malicious. You don't you don't understand like the repercussions of it. It's not just a game. So. Just because you don't agree with one side of a of a lawsuit doesn't mean it's malicious. Right, the word's not malicious. What is there's he he was he missed his big word that he wanted to use for that type of a lawsuit. Did, was he trying to say anti-slap? Yeah, I think so. He said something that sounded like slap, so I was wondering if that's what he was saying. I mean, I heard him say malicious, and I knew malicious was wrong, but yeah, it's the anti-slap I think he's trying to refer to. Okay. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't know. Who knows? What right, who knows? Something stupid. Frivolous. Frivolous. Ooh, jinx. Frivolous. Yeah. Two of you. Oh, right. For somebody, you better make sure you're coming with full speed facts. And when you come up against us, especially John Yates, you better make Home sure. Depot, Jen. Look at look at what, look at definitely Home there. Depot, Jen. I'm sorry, I have to pause again. If you go up against John Yates, you better have the facts, because he's a scary man. <laughs> <laughs> with his four degrees. He's. He, He's a formidable opponent. <laughs> He's been on these streets for 13 years and he has four degrees. By both out. intellect and physical like uh, abilities with his fighting. You know what I mean? And he dropped all of his real life friends to spend 24 hours a day on this shit. And his word. be jealous of that. <laughs> because that's what living is. That's right. I love this guy. So my fucking husband. From me. Well, she tried to. She tried to. She tried to rape me, actually, but yeah, she tried to. Excuse you? Sorry, did he just say what I think he said? She said try to? He said she tried to R him? Oh, oh yeah, he, they accuse Home Depot Jen of trying to R Cody. Oh, and I wonder why she didn't like you. Hmm, interesting. Right. No, me and Terrell will never. No, well, some of these are okay. Like, listen, no, we are on. We are, listen, we are on different paths. I have nothing. Nobody talks about anybody. I have nothing good or bad to say about Cheryl. Exactly. I'm just saying that, like, I'm happy that Cheryl is collecting on this. Yeah, and that's all. Like, I, you know, split their ways and that's yeah, it. That's I, it. you know, and like, nobody, no, nothing, no, nothing. So that's how it is. I can respect Cheryl for being an adult because she hasn't talked about me, and I haven't talked about her. Very true. Her and Harry, like, they're both so. And I, I, I'm, I'm happy that like Cheryl will collect. I hope she does. She deserves it. So you're not happy, sure. I'll collect anything, you liar. Well, it's like which one do I hate more is the only reason, you know? Yeah, right. It's just like I just happen to hate this one more. Oh, he has? Oh, I haven't never heard it. Interesting. I, I'm not gonna lie, I don't watch him. So I would I there's a reason I wouldn't know. But he just lets it slip real fast. Comes out, comes out real easy. Yep. Will towards Sherelle. Not at all. And um, I hope, I, I wish her success. Honestly, like, I don't have anything better to say. Like, she you know, she does. me and her obviously won't be friends, but I, I um, you know, I have nothing better to say. I, mean, I, I was just pointing out saying, like, there are people that come and go. I hope her and, her like, if, you, if you've been following me for, if, if you've been following me for a long time, you, you can see, like, a revolving door of people that have been in and out of my life. And, um, is he the only person that would take that as a reflection of him being a better person than other people? <laughs> like, he's saying there's a revolving door of people in my life. Isn't that a bad reflection on you? Not a good one? <laughs> Cooch? Uh-oh. Did you mute yourself? I can't tell. Yeah, I okay, did. Okay, okay, okay. I thought something happened. Sorry. Oh, right. <laughs> if it's not my internet, it's freaking operator error. No, no, that's why. Uh, listen, I'd rather you be muted. I was just like, oh, no, not again. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's not a flex. It's not a flex to say I have no friends anymore. <laughs> oh, I said, well, only Jen would also flex that with him. Yeah. She would also consider that um, an accomplishment versus I'm a very standing. Where, where's existence. everyone else? Right. <laughs> um, they've. They all left your lying ass. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's insane. And I have to say, the people who are attacking me now are the people who defended me before. And these people, like, I just want y'all to realize, like, the, the, this shit 
on, on YouTube, these people who have like, you know, these channels who just talk shit about each other. It, it's, it's crazy. Like, you know, they, they're the victims. Oh no, we're just defending ourselves. Well, listen, but Friday, Friday night, Friday night, the night before, like, Friday, you know, Friday night, we, we got here, of all kinds trying, of to 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 trying to get to trying to get here because someone who I consider to be like a wife, not just a friend or a sister, a <laughs> wife yeah. is in a coma. And, you guys are doing this to and, us. and those people knew that. They knew that. A they wife he gives 25% of his love to. Wait, why would they know that? He doesn't what talk they? to them. He's like trying to like in, implicate here like Maria and Brooke and them. Why the hell would they know this? He's like, they know where I am. I don't know. I'm although people did tend to find out where he was because Jay Today posted it on her community tab, I believe, where they are. So somehow people found out, which means people aren't just magically finding out he told somebody who leaked it. Well, doesn't Julie have a big mouth? Uh yeah. So, so she probably leaked it to somebody. Exactly. She's the she's been the proven link, I believe, in all of the past leaks. So right. I'd be surprised if it was anybody else. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm assuming that got to someone who got to Jake today. Right. God bless. You think they'd learn by now? Through at that moment, so-called friends that called me like a called me. You know, we were brethren. We were brothers. We were like you know family. Brethren. And they knew that, and they all decided to jump on board and try to fucking oh, disparage okay. me again. Yeah. And again, I'm not going to name names because I'm not. Because that I, I will yeah, not you will. give them that satisfaction. I won't. Of course you're better than them. Of course. <laughs> and, and, the, and honestly, the bad only bad reason bad. why I went live tonight was because like I was worried because you know this is my business and I have not been posting and I have not been doing YouTube live. He's still above and, it all. Um, and I don't know. He's really worried. Listen, people are paying for memberships and he wants them to like, you know, he wants them to get their money back. Right. He's, he's benevolent like that. Right. So benevolent. And he's just drunk and rages. He's really worried about them keeping their money during the holiday time when they're not getting anything in return for it. Okay. Of course. He's just, I don't know why you're all attacking the most benevolent man out there. I mean, he's just trying to help and you're being, you're bullies. Okay. You're bullies. Right. He comes and shares all of his tragedies with us, and we just bully him. And celebrities, <laughs> don't forget. I mean, I know all the celebrities <laughs> that are all ten years old. I know. Okay. He's the OG. <laughs> He's giving you all this content that you couldn't get anywhere else. Like you just can't. Right. I know he shares all their Instagrams on his Instagram, but like. Imagine if he didn't and you had to look at someone else's Instagram. I mean, that effort in and of itself is worth it. <laughs> right. You, I mean, come on. He's doing God's work. Okay, people? <laughs> okay I can't. This shit is too deep. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> My internet might break again if you continue. <laughs> <laughs> the blasphemy. The right. Blasphemy will break it. Okay. When I don't know when we will again, because my only priority is to make sure that like I'm here for somebody that I care very dearly about. And while I'm live, they're they're texting me addresses and names, and it's just awful, awful shit. And I, like, it's fine. Here, you know, here I am. I'm not on YouTube. I, I could be on YouTube right now, doing this live, getting super chats and 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 all this bullshit. But no, I'm not trying to make money off of this. Oh wait, so not trying not, to get not trying to get views so off, of this. Money off of no, this. No, zero. Oh, so uh, just like I did before, no money. But yet we're the we're the fucking assholes. We're the losers. We're the fat asses. And we're the I think nobodies. that is correct, Cody. Well, I think he actually now has his Instagram where you can buy Instagram membership. Yep. For I said private. that before when you were gone. I was like, what do you mean you're not making money? It's five bucks a fucking membership, and you don't even do members only IGs. No, and you can also donate to the super chats. Like you can buy the the badges and shit. And if I was so, a betting woman, people don't give him super chats anymore because listen, they're just going to be mocked and attacked. That he does this so that behind the scenes he gets the cash apps and shit. So right, and it's double duty because then he can say, "Look, I didn't make any money. Can't say it's about the money." Yeah, it's true. And because he he's already lied on that. $5,000 a zillion times for the tires or whatever. Like all this different money's come in to pay the tires. and Like all those people that got those IG memberships when he wasn't coming back to YouTube for five minutes. Like 
Those are five bucks a person. Oh. For nothing. <laughs> Oh, a lot of people though didn't even cancel their memberships. I mean, exactly. he had a lot, he had a lot of cancellations, but a lot of people didn't. Even a lot of the top, top hag people did not. They yeah. kept going with that fifteen dollars a month while he was offline. Yeah, and he. Oh my God! Wait a second. Hold on. Can you hear this? Hold on. Oh, never mind. Sorry, Muzzy snoring really loud. I was like, oh, oh my gosh! Like Pablo, no. <laughs> oh my God, that's what it sounded like. I was like, shit, that never happens here. <laughs> Holy shit, that's loud. Okay. okay. <laughs> and everything else. So, huh? So we're doing all this for free <clears throat> because we're not fucking vultures. We never were. Squawk, squawk. I'm sorry, like it's come to this, like, and they got the reaction they wanted. They did, they got it, but it's not on YouTube, and I'm not trying to make money off of it. And uh, it's not on YouTube yet. Um, you know, it's very hard to hear that I tried, you know. The thing that gets me is like, you know, it's not even me. Like, I've had people lie about me for years and they're risking. Hey, Cody, what? where's Katie not Holmes? <laughs> <laughs> She's at Bojangles. <laughs> Tell me that wasn't a black person he was talking about. The only Katie Holmes I know of is the famous one who is um, Tom Cruise's ex-wife. Well, he said Katie not Holmes. So who's Katie? I know. There's a Katie. I know of another Katie Holmes, a famous British Katie Holmes, who is white. All right, I'm looking. Nikki, Glenn Crack, people have been here for a while. Who's Nikki? Who's Nikki? Is anyone still here who knows who the hell Nikki is? And is she black? Because, yeah. I've heard him mention, I've heard him say Katie, not Holmes before. Mm -hmm. But I always just assumed it was some kind of an inside Tom Cruise joke with them. I don't know. Okay, but I had no idea. I just didn't really care. No, fair. Because when he said the Bojangles, I'm like, mm. Yeah, right. Exactly. That gets you to think, wait a minute. <laughs> All right, let's no, go. I don't blame you. But I don't know if one has to do with the other. Because she knew. She knew. She couldn't even go up against us. She knew. We have taken so many bullets. And why is that, John? Because we got the goddamn proof and the fucking receipts. So anybody that wants to play and you feel... You're right. That's exactly why. You got it. You're assuming whoever it is is black in their minds. Fair enough. Feeling froggy? Go ahead. Bounce. Because we're going to bounce back. And you know, we're going to bounce back even harder. And to make it clear, again, Shut since my last live was reported and gone, the only reason why I took the pictures of my wrist. I'm going to say it again. The live is still up. Okay? It's still up. With Which the one? Gore, the gory one is still up on IG. So stop oh, saying it. Oh, it is? I can't believe you didn't take it. Take down. I cannot believe he saved that. And he keeps saying it was reported and taken down. I, nope, I checked. Well, I okay, so anybody who really wants to see the gore, I it's mean, try not to gory. give him a sub, but I guess if you want, give him a sub. But yeah, it's, it's over or on if his. If you're like, if you really don't want to and you want to message me, I can email it to you. <laughs> yeah, that too. And Muzz can just send you the picture. <laughs> but Oh, she was a Oh, and if you want to sign the petition, whoops. What must it says here? Uh, Katie not Holmes was a blogger. Okay, Sandra, do you know if she was black? If anybody would love to sign the petition to cancel racist John Yates, it is in my description box, uh, which would be below you or off of your TV set and onto a device. Because if One or the other. any of you saw the YouTube live at like 4 a.m. and he was like, why are black people calling me? But um, anyways, I digress. <laughs> That is on Siwa's channel right now. I don't know if I'll get a chance to run that one today because there's yeah. so many others. But that live is currently on Siwa's channel from the stream she did this morning. Oh, she's not black. He wasn't being racist. What are the odds? Okay. <laughs> so he just felt like throwing a Bojangles in there. I wonder if that's where they got their chicken. Maybe that's where they went to get their chicken. I was just going to say, maybe he's around places that have Bojangles. Because they ate chicken for dinner because John was complaining about him eating all the chicken or something. Oh, of course you are. <laughs> I, I don't. It was because I was being Which, so I was being no, no. in June. In June. In June. Not recently, y'all. 
in June. I was being so bullied by this, you know, kind of the same people now, but like, I don't know if it's the same people because the friends now, the friends that I have, the friends I had then are now bullying me and saying I, I, I made it up. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. They, they the people all, who were defending me back then nobody's loyal these days are now they're saying I made up trying to drive me to it again. Everybody's all thing. Um, everybody's and the reason why I took the pictures of my and listen, I had an agenda. I I didn't just Okay, I have a I have a premonition here the from that sentence is he's gonna do it again. He's gonna fake it again. Yeah, I I agree. Just Actually, from what you just said, I'm like, oh, they're trying to make me do it again. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, I didn't have that premonition at all, but I agree with what you're saying. It's coming. I can feel it. <laughs> I slit them because, you know, if you ever watch like The Life of David Gale, like that's like my best metaphor, if you can understand that. Um, it's a movie with uh, Kevin Klein and Scarlett Johansson. Watch that movie. Wait, and you want to see, the Life of David Gale, it's a very sad movie. Um, but um, um, I wanted to, I, I, I did what I did. And I took the pictures because I was going to post them and say, this is what cyberbullying does. And then I was just going to die. He wanted to be a poster boy. He wanted to be a famous poster boy. He didn't want to die. He wanted to be a famous poster boy. Famous. Yeah. Really. He wanted, he wanted this all over the blogs and all over the articles. He wanted all the Insight Todays or whatever. They're all these fake news places, the online weird names nobody's ever heard of to pick the story up and show the pictures and make him famous. The bully blogger. Okay. Um, Honeypot, you want to know the truth is if everyone stops watching him is the only way it's, he's not going to get rid of any other way, but right. it's, it's just not going to happen. It's just a matter of irrelevance coming to him. Exactly. Cause he's probably, I mean, he does get more and more irrelevant. The, Petition has helped, I believe, in the fact of really getting it Money more known out there. And a lot of people don't have the patience or want to watch him. His views have gone down in all areas. So it is affecting him. And, you know, once we get it up to 5,000 signatures, there may even it may even be able to earn a place on his local news channel oh, at that point. That. That's what they say on the on change.org. When it gets to 5,000, it's more likely to appear on local news organizations are more likely to pick it up. Yeah. I don't so, think like, there's no reporting or that. I mean, unless in January they actually crack down, which I doubt, then um, it's just about irrelevance. Right. And just keeping it, people aware of it. And so people have a place to go to, to see all the, the trash when they're ready to believe the truth and so forth. And also, because, and also that people don't give him the views and they can watch the shit here, you know? Yeah, or, that's like, true. Places like that. Right. So. Just like the other, that was my agenda. Thousand people that actually killed himself because and what like I wasn't I wasn't just people. I wasn't just gonna do that to myself and like like quietly no you guys brought me to that. That's what they did. And they keep, like you know I tried reporting everybody. Of course. I tried reporting people, YouTube channels, Instagram channels, whatever, and like I could not get any satisfaction. And it just it was they were they keep, they kept hammering it, hammering it, hammering it on me. And I, I felt no relief. And I said, well, you know what? I'm going to kill myself. Nope, this is past tense. Not right now. I'm fine. We're good. No, no, no. This, this, this is my back thinking then. back then. I'm going to do this to myself. And, um, you know, like maybe this will be like a light bulb. Maybe some, some change will happen. Maybe like, you know, YouTube or Instagram will change. So he's giving himself away here that he didn't actually try to unalive himself because nobody unalives themselves for a cause unless you're like in the streets of china you know what exactly. i mean exactly exactly not ever it's just not this whole thing it's the, the cause and the and the dramatics and the the that the, is the most uh, telling thing he said i'll be honest though since he's done it six months ago he's proving he didn't do it yeah and nobody ever so forget the physical proof right here that sentence Clip that shit Reddit because that is what proves he didn't do it because nobody does it to show what bullying does. That's bullshit. You do it when you are at the lowest place in your life and you think the world would be better off without you. That yeah. is the, so that right there, you clip that Reddit because that shit, <laughs> that shit is the reason that's proof right there. He just showed his ass idiot for a stand what is he sitting by a tree as some environmentalist refusing to eat and chaining himself up to it 
<laughs> that's what he's like making it sound like. like right. The rules or some shit like that. And that's why I took the pictures. That was my plan. But they say, oh no, he never did it. He never did it. He never did it. Well, you saw that he actually really effing did it. And you so, just saw it, you know, I can't post him again because I'll lose my account. So now, go, I just posted it on my official account. Sit, sit, I got reported. Sit. The last time I just said, I posted it again. I got you reported. Sit, 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 open your mouth again. You and your damn mouth. that's why I did that because I wanted, you know, because I was getting cyber bullied horribly. And, um, you know, cops being called to my house well, seven, seven for, times a night. Not even just you, just me too. Like, I get it. I'm not even like on here, like whatever. I just back up my husband. Like everybody does that. If, if you're a guy, like you back up your wife. Like I back up my husband, like whatever. And <laughs> I'm getting fucking bullied. I'm getting fucking harassing phone calls. Cause you have the biggest fucking mouth of the two of you. And, like, yeah, yeah. Right. Like 24 hours throughout the whole fucking night. Like I have to turn my phone off at night and I never had to do that. And I have to turn this shit off because you're psychos. You need to be in a fucking hospital. And I'm like, you know, I, I never thought in a million years, like, you know, I, I was like, you know, I saw Cody, I'm like, wow, like, you know, these last two months have been great. Like, you know, I moved on and I thought they moved on, but yeah. clearly no, because their views are in the tank. They lie in wait, just like little fucking nasty squirrels. Um, they lie in wait. And like, you know, people, oh, we're waiting for a Gates breakdown. We're waiting for this, waiting for that. Let's keep doing this. Yeah, let's keep pushing, let's crazy. keep pushing them fucking buttons. Oh, he's about to break down and like, oh, he's going to go crazy. And then, like, that's what you're pushing and that's what you're waiting for. You're fucking sick. You're sick. Like, it's like live entertainment. Like, and like, you know, it, go and enjoy as life. far as I know, this only happens to me. You know it. Like, as far as I know. And okay, two things. Number one, this is not entertainment for anyone. Nobody likes this. Number two, you think you're the only one. Yeah. yeah right. Delusions of grandeur here. This only happens to me. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Have you looked at YouTube? Do you know what a speck of dust you are? Right. For fuck's sake. 13 years and you're a speck of dust. Nobody cares. And there's a lot more talented grifters on YouTube than you, sir. <laughs> so. and they get attacked probably a whole lot more than you. Yeah, really. So, uh, yeah. Like, look at Molly Golightly. There were... I'm sure every job, every relative, every, I mean, they've sent food to our house. They've sent cops that like everything has been done to her. I'm not saying it's not like she, I'm saying like a grifter who right. shit is happening to you. Want, you ain't the only one girl. You right. One. You think he, you would think he would have better coping skills after so long. And if he had this great two months, why did he let one night of people talking about him ruin it? Uh, Cause money rent. I don't know. I, I wonder if it helped. Someone's got to pay for the hotel. Yeah, that's for sure. So, fucking weirdos. This cut. whole community, which I hate that fucking word, community, um, it, like, it's only happened to me. <laughs> and if I'm wrong, you, you can tell me in the chat if I'm wrong. But, like, you know, I don't see anybody else getting cops sent to their house seven times a night. Seven times a night. Six. He's 100% real. Six. I'm still at seven. Cody says six. I'm at seven. I was up for six. And they came another time, but whatever. But I know for sure I was up for six. The other ones, they probably they probably just wanted to get my number. Hey. But, you know, I don't see this happening to anybody else. I don't see the cops being called on bullshit welfare checks to their houses during lives. Don't see it. And if I'm wrong, you can correct me. I'll wait. See, people says Who doesn't remember... He doesn't remember the night that he was so drunk on on um, Jules's stream last uh, fall when the cops came to Brooke's house and Jules's house, and then the next night they came to his house. <laughs> it's like he's like no one else does it. Who else keeps threatening to hurt themselves on a live dumb fuck? And other people have had the cops and pizzas and all kinds of crazy shit. All kinds of shit, right? It's and then it, it's just yeah, it. just but. Yeah. He gets it more often because he's constantly threatening self-harm and stuff on Alive. He gets it more often because he says shit like, slip my wrists and whatever. Right. Falls out of his mouth like nothing. Right, which is why the cops, I'm sure people kept reporting him and he wasn't home and so the cops were trying to call him. Probably. Oh, yes, they probably, right, because he's not home. Right, right, right. Right. Idiot. Okay, like I said, I was in the bedroom, so I don't know. They came into the bedroom three times that I know of. So... And not just in one fucking I was, night. I was sleeping, and they woke me up. So uh, those they, bastards. They so, and these are like, like obsessed, like obsessed, like fucking.
people like who like like I, I just don't I'll never understand. They do it and then they laugh about it and that's so pathetic. God, your life is pathetic. God. You know what? And I pray for you because you know what? You need peace and love in your fucking life. I pray you need for to you. find Jesus or something. Start. I don't think anyone wants your prayers, honey. Yeah, don't lie. You ain't praying for no. shit. <laughs> you don't know that you can't spell Jesus. Don't please, please. Don't even Right. I mean, you're not even praying for your own health, so. <laughs> yeah, let's, no, nope. Go horse riding, buy a goat, like, make some goat cheese or something, like. Did you say buy a goat? Buy a goat? Yeah, and get and make some goat cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie, that's the best comeback I've ever heard. I'm going to use that <laughs> from now on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do something. Go buy a chicken and chase it around the yard, like, I don't know, but shit. Do something else, y'all. You know, they all talk about people going real life. Like, how real life are they going on me? Seven times a night, getting me fired from jobs I have. Time after time after time, even though... Calling our landlords. Calling our landlord. Finding, like, we rent the house, right? <laughs> calling, finding out, like, our address and seeing who owns the property. Then calling our landlord, trying to get us evicted. And then stop doing shit online. Nobody had to know the stove was broken. Nobody had to know your, your lease. Nobody had to know any of that shit. You... Tell everyone, and then you incite the trolls. That's on you. 100%. Yes. Like, do it's you understand? All... Like, oh, oh, I lost my job. I lost my job. Do you know how easy it would be him for him to go get a job? He didn't have, didn't have to tell anyone. Do his content. Nobody would fucking know. Right. Dumbass. Right. He doesn't have to say everything. He has to, all, all he has to do is say nothing and do content and say everything's good. Exactly. You think anyone's going to fucking give a shit? No. It's that easy. Dumbass work out they called the mayor hey johnny crack tv mayor of my town yeah they did the mayor of my fucking town yeah okay and you know what's funny is that the our, mayor our landlord is part of the committee of the fucking town so he don't give two fucking shits what's like, going to on to put me out on the fucking street <laughs> they don't give a shit they don't care they know who we are hand to fucking god <laughs> this is what we deal with y'all and I agree. It's stupid to call his landlord and the mayor, and this is dumb because he's a nobody in life, and you're giving him way more credit than he deserves. But, right. but you've incited all these nuts to hate you so bad. So stop sharing information. <laughs> yep. I never called someone's house. Nope. Then they, 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 oh, everyone goes for life. I've never interviewed someone's family members ever. I've, I've had many opportunities, but I would never go that low. But you know, just get other people to do it. I'm the bad guy. I'm the bad guy always. Right. Right. I'm the bad guy. They don't like to see you on top. They want to kick the ladder out from Melby. I should not be a threat to anybody. Like the, these people. Like I have. Like, like my, setting Penelope up. Right. Uh, it was on his channel. Yeah. I've never done it. Okay, so you didn't technically speak to the woman. But I think he did, wasn't he? Didn't he go up there anyways? Yeah, he was on the he was on the panel. Oh, what am I doing? I'm arguing facts with an idiot who doesn't believe that like there's gravity, you know? Like they're so pissed off because like, you know, I have my contacts and whatever, and like I report on the, on the shows. And they can't fucking stand that like I don't need I never needed them. I don't need them. I don't need them now and, and I don't or later or whatever. Like I, I don't like you know you succeeded and they have not. And they wanted to what success? What is your bar of success, sir? <laughs> what bubble do you live in that this is success? Trying to take your place. Called the mayor of my town. And the mayor don't give a shit. Because they Could you imagine? They but but, but these people, people, these people are doing this. They're victims, them. guys. They're victims. But yet, you, but yet they're in here harassing and calling the police. They're the lives. victims. But yet you haven't talked about them. We've been out of town for like three days. The police have been to our house. How many three times? Three times. Three times. It shows up three on the camera. Three times they've been there. Calling the cops to, to our house. How many times I talked to them? Well, we're not even there. When you push that button, it rings <laughs> through, and I get the phone call on my phone. I see everything. Okay, stupid conspiracy, because I don't see anyone calling the cops on him the past few days because he hasn't done anything. Could it be because he left his cats in there unattended and people are worried? Like neighbors? Or people don't... I. Um, well, no, because why would people worry about unattended cats? Cats are fine. They can be unattended for a few days. Right, but they're gone for a while. Well, they've only been gone for two or three days. 
Right, but they're going to be staying there for a bit. Well, yeah. I'm just wondering if, like, neighbors knew because they were chit-chatting and I don't know. I mean, why else would the cops show up? For what? Um, Maybe just random idiots were calling because yes. they're assholes. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just weird. I know. Because I mean, obviously there was no reason to have any welfare checks done when he wasn't exactly. at home and he was in a hotel. Yeah, it didn't make sense. Johnny but Grant, that does theory is that he's getting money behind the scenes. So because people are too embarrassed to do it in front of the scenes. I mean, and a lot of his haters are just as crazy as him. Yeah, but he made them. That's what's the crazy. Well, they were already crazy, and then he made them hate him. Correct. He 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 sucked in the crazies. So a lot of these crazy people I could see possibly calling for no reason. Yeah. Or yeah. Weird though. Weird all time. Like the timing. But why else would the cops keep calling him? Other than if they were going to his door and nobody was there and they're wanting to make sure that he's okay wherever he is. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It is. Because it's live on my phone. So I can talk to them. And they're like, hi, um, are you home? Uh no. Well, we got a call. You guys are home. Well, do you see the, do you see our cars home? Uh no. We're not home. I'm sorry, but we're not home. <laughs> it, it, this is just like are you guys okay? Yes, we're completely fine. We're dealing with family stuff in a different state. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to bother you guys. We got a phone. Yeah, the cops called me. And I'm they're like, like, well, where are you? I'm like, well, I'm at home right now. We're coming by. I'm like, well, good luck to you. I don't know when I'll be back. But I'm like, right. you know, whatever. It's good. They bring the, the ring camera and it calls right to my phone. And I answer it. And I'm like, hello. And I see them because it comes right up on there. And I'm like, hi. And they're talking into the ring camera. And they're like, um, we got a, a call. Um, Are you guys okay? Yeah, we're completely fine. Why are you at our house? Well, we got a call. Well, oh, seriously, me, like, how can I, police resources, resources, the police, out of state. Honey, what was he about, 140 Violet, he has said in the past when he's gone out of town that a neighbor has taken care of the cats. So there probably is somebody that's going to look in on them and make sure they've got food. I heard that, I heard Stacy talk about that, and she said he says that, but she's not sure. If it's true. And I don't know how she would know like, or not. She said when she was there that the smoke is so thick in there that the cat was coughing so hard she asked if they should go to the vet. Oh, my God. I didn't hear her talk about the cat. She said I heard that. her about the smoke, but wow. And then I was like, wait, so he said no, and he just said okay? <laughs> wait a minute. I hope someone took them to the vet. Well, that's what I would do. You can't really steal somebody's cat and take it to the vet, Muzz. I would. <laughs> I know you would, but you can't do that. You would. You would. The cops would be called probably. <laughs> A sane person would call the cops on you. <laughs> this is America. <laughs> <laughs> Don't steal our pet. <laughs> oh my god! No, I know, but I felt she was like, she was like, yeah, the cat was coughing so bad. I was like, oh my god! But she said she doesn't think someone really checks up. And she it's horrible them. because it takes life off of an animal, you know. Yep. But give th that all that smoke and all the food and the human food takes time away, takes life off of the animal's life or yep. ears off. Yep. Just like uh, just like overweight dogs, like every pound is like a year off their life because it's it's on their heart, you know. Right. And there's always such a short time that we get to spend with these yeah. these amazing creatures that it's just sad when people, you know, do that and then they don't want that animal to die so young, but they yeah. were doing all those things that could have helped. Yeah, Stacy said she doesn't think someone really checks and he's and that bef he's left them really long before. But I don't know how she could determine that other yeah, than I, know. I, don't know. I don't know so. if she knows something I don't. I'm just Yeah, yeah right. Ah! Violet would steal a cat with me, sucker. I mean, she was, I still consider her completely a hag. And as far as her, the medication story and that, I'm, I just, I don't know. I think everybody's kind of lying at some, at some stuff. Yeah, I, I think John's lying a whole lot, and I think other people are maybe telling little lies here and there. I don't know. I've heard the medication thing being um, concocted behind the scenes, but I don't know. Anything. Yeah, that's, and that wouldn't surprise me either. And that would make somebody mad enough to lie about five grand if you were lying about that. So that it's could so, be a motive. It's but also he also because he does enough. You know what I mean? Well, and when he's blackout drunk, he doesn't need any kind of motive to say right. stuff like that. So right. it still could one hundred percent be true. And he's just mad that she called it. I mean, who knows? He's probably just mad. No, because after he got back, um, she kind of like switch, went to Maria in that. He's probably just still so, just still mad about that. Right, that's true. Yeah, the revenge of going to other people. Yeah, it doesn't have to be but, any other reason. But regardless, none of us believes that there was five grand stolen. So, no, 
And when he's like, look at the, okay, here's what I kept saying, well, I was saying in was He's like, look at the two bags she's holding when she leaves. What were, was the 5,000 and one dollar bills? <laughs> right. Why, why did she have two giant bags to hold five? Why didn't she have a stick with a sheet tied to it with the money stuffed in it? Like, like it's a hobo. Not that much in bills. You know what I mean? Like, right. It's a lot, but it's not like to hold two huge bags. Right. And two huge bags wouldn't fit into a book show. Right. Somehow it, it expanded. <laughs> right. Like one of those sponges, you know, that are like like an inch long and you put it in water and it poofs up. <laughs> yeah, like five feet. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please answer, was it 142? Oh, uh, I think it was 147. I was say 137. Wait. I think it was 140. It's between 130 and 140. It's between 130 and 150 times. I think it's 142. That's how many times the cosmic culture has. I have this whole different camera thing because I have it all like recorded. And I am not making it. money off this shit. Not really. No. Because I don't need to. You know what? You know what? I want to make money off of. I, I want to make money off of like the 98 Beyonce tea that I have or recaps We're not like and, um, you know, interviews. And I don't need to go on YouTube to make money off of this. And everything else to make money. So. And I'm also not going to money up my channel with this bullshit. I don't need the money that badly. We don't need to do it. I'm sorry. No, I'm not going to. No, I'm not going to do this on YouTube. And I, 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 I really regret doing my YouTube live earlier, to be honest with you. I regret it. I regret even doing that YouTube live. I just did on my channel. I do. Thanks, Sandra. I haven't seen those. Um, I'm, I'm definitely going to look for them. Thank you very much for uh, letting us know that. And um, yes, this was the very first time he mentioned the five grand. Hey, lost in hate. Set that to members now because I, I don't even want it on there. And I, I, I shouldn't have done it, honestly. Um, I, I, I just wanted people to know, you know, because I have members and people pay to watch me, right? And I wanted to do that, that YouTube just to let my members know and people who support me that like, I'm not vanished. Like I'm not, I didn't quit that. Um, I'm still going to do my lives, but there's a lot going on in my we're, personal we're, life we're right now. Stuff, and right now. I didn't, I didn't want to lose members or whatever, because they thought I, I skipped town or whatever. Like I, I just wanted people to know, like, you know, I'm still here and, um, you know, here's why I'm not going live, but again, it backfired in my fucking face. So like, it, you know, so no, I will, I, I don't need to do this on YouTube. I will not. And Yes, lost in hate. For those of you who didn't see, he barricaded the hotel door with like a chair and like pillows and stuff because he's terrified. <laughs> John has the text posted on his IG. Wait. Finally, my box wine is like really, really handy today. <laughs> my box wine and the hot cop. Look, there everybody. Wait, there John put the text to prove that he stole someone's pills? That seems odd. <laughs> yeah, there's text. She said he did steal the script. She sent text asking him to just come clean about it. Uh, you can see his responses, and he never accuses her of stealing until last night. Wait, I knew about the 5K not until last night, but the text, he never does come clean about anything. Um, so I didn't really see anything definitive in those, but I'm definitely going to go back and look. And that 5K is straight up out of his asshole from last night. Straight up out of, straight out of the asshole. Okay, sorry. Continue. Oh, the texts aren't about that. The texts are like her being nice to him and him being nice to her, I guess. So after she went to Maria, so he, I guess he wants to prove that she apologized. Oh. I don't know. So, oh. How stupid. Oh, yeah, because she said that she, um, because he said he didn't do it and she just kind of wanted to believe it and just sort of moved on, but then couldn't get it out of her head. I need a Xanax after that. Oh, my. Yeah. This is all a lot of information. <laughs> I'm going to remove the live I just did. Also, that's members because um, I'm not that thirsty for fucking money. Then why is it going to be members and not private? Um, Mr. is here. She knows hey, the person. She knows the person who is very sick right now. She sure does. And um, she knows exactly what we're going through. But I'm not going to capitalize and make money off of this because no, 
The only I, what we're doing. I want to make money off of my gossip, my tea, my interviews, my recaps. That not this, and that's why I'm here right now. Trust me, it'd be very easy for me to go on YouTube right now and do the same thing and get tons of super chats and and whatever else. But no, nope. um, I, I <laughs> nope, don't care. I don't want the I don't want the clicks. I don't want the views. We I don't, don't want I don't want any of it. We don't need it. We're trying to prove a point, and we're trying to spread the fucking truth. Not making no money off. And I'm like, I'm like, you know, also kind of mad at myself that I'm doing this on my main channel right now. Um, but like, I feel like it needs to be said. So, you know, I, I went live on my backup channel um, a few nights ago when this first happened. And there's like 20 people in the chat. So, you know, it's, it's a small account. So, um, you know, I'm not making any money. I am not making any money off this IG Live. I'm making 0. 0.00 off this IG Live. You know, and... We're, even, if, even if you have 20 people in there, it don't matter. Because word gets around. And that's all that matters because that's what we're trying to do is just spread the fucking word. People are fucking shitty. You need to watch your fucking back on these fucking people because they are nasty, ruthless people. They are dirty. They are backstabbing and they will fucking cut you at the knees. They will fucking cut your throat when you drop down. Is he talking about himself and, and John? I know. <laughs> because that's exactly how I feel what they did to me. <laughs> like... By the way, you're describing all the shit you guys did to me and many other people. <laughs> no, the fact that you all left apparently shows that he's the right one. <laughs> God, right? You have to remember, it's backwards. If everyone leaves you in your life, you're the winner. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's the, it, sh it proves that, they're the, that everyone else is the problem. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Star, I couldn't agree more. That's why earlier when he said, like, no, I, I'm getting attacked and I'm not involved. I'm like, you have the bigger mouth, the two of you. <laughs> Last night on that first live that they did that they oh. still left up, it was driving me crazy that he couldn't sit on the other side of the bed and be in camera for fucking once. You know what annoyed me? When he, when he like, came on in his underwear. <gasps> oh, my God. Why did he do that? He's like, look at my boot. He's like, look at my... I'm like, can you get your naked body out of the fucking room? What the hell? Oh. What are you doing right now? <laughs> Sir? No. I don't know. Like, do you want the snot and blowing snot in the shirt back over that? I That might have to be a, a vote I put up on Reddit. I might prefer <laughs> blowing into the t-shirt because I don't have to see it. Yeah, what do you prefer, blowing into the t-shirt or Cody's nipple? <laughs> nipple? His whole fucking body walked in with his boxers on. Like, the whole fucking body. Oh, my God. I missed that. Oh, <laughs> after he showed the nipple, he went, look. And he walks in because he looked naked. He's like, I'm not naked. Look. And he walks into the frame with just his, like, underwear on. Oh, my gosh. I'm like, please don't ever do that again. Oh, my gosh. Ever. Let me tell you something. Like, I, um, on top of, like, them trying to say I picked suicide and saying I made it up. But yeah, you should have um, And then it's still fake. Uh, you know. <sighs> you showed the proof, but yet it's still fake. Explain that. They're, they're saying I put Heinz ketchup on my fucking wrist. <laughs> Heinz ketchup. They're saying I put Heinz ketchup on my wrist on the floor. Well, remember the one time. Uh, what? <laughs> that wasn't a sentence. They put it on the wrist on the floor? Yeah, it's just drunk and something. What? <laughs> Chody's nips will haunt my nightmare. What about his ass and his underwear? I'm sorry. That to me was the whole body came in. I was like, oh, oh my God. I really need to get a screenshot of both of these and put that on Reddit for a quick. I can't remember which YouTube. Which, or which on my community was. tab, even better. It, it's just that for a second, he's like, what? I'm here naked. And I was like, oh my God, he looks naked because you couldn't see the boxers. And then he just walks into frame and I'm like, <laughs> was that on the very last live that they did? I don't, um, I think it, it had be. to have been because that was the only one I saw in her. Oh, wait. Yes, it was the only one, um, that I, uh, like saw. So, yes, it had to be. Yeah, okay. But, uh. And before it was, um, it was, um, what was it? It was red, food. they were boxer briefs, if you must know, Drowza. Coloring that's what it was, red food coloring because I cook with red food coloring, so that's what it is. And I know that's what it is. Why do you cook with red food coloring? Why are you dyeing your food red? Just a curiosity thing. Bitch, please. Get the fuck out of here. So then why did the, so the police... What is, this, what, what is this person saying? As a joke. Because wait, wait. Was coloring. Why is there pieces of glass in palm of hand and pinky in those pictures? What the fuck is that sentence? <laughs> That's an answer. Why, no, I'm right up. Why is there pieces of glass in palm of the hand and pinky in those pictures? 
You just want me to get reported again. There was no glass in my fucking hand. Don't even pay attention to it. And if there was glass in my fucking hand, like, Jesus, like, what is wrong with, why is there pieces of glass in Paul? They didn't graduate high school, so don't even play, don't even play with them. They don't even know. They're, they're still in middle school. You know what? I say bye whore on that one. They're still in elementary school. Get the fuck out she gets to go by whore. Yeah. You, um, you ain't Wait, did he just criticize someone's uh, sentence structure and said by whore? <laughs> uh, yes, he did. <laughs> that was well after he said they said bitch please. Cody loves to say bitch after please. he said fucking 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 fuck. Make a better sentence. <laughs> yeah, Cody says bitch please all the time. Bitch please. Um, and then you got that whore. He says bitch please all the time. You got that whore? I'm just kidding. I'm it's such a weird thing, like when you hear someone a whore. Like it's such a weird part of a sentence. I know. All right, continue, whore. <laughs> Can I? Can't. Um, what? Like I can have Jesus Christ here, like on the bed next to me. Oh, they wouldn't. Like, oh, look, there's Jesus. They oh, believe like it. I say, my child, John Yates, is saying the truth, and you'd be like, oh fuck you, Jesus, I believe in Satan now. Like that's how it is. That's how they would be. They could be standing in front of them, and they would be like, I don't even know who this is. Like, get the fuck out of here. God, they really need to find themselves. <laughs> because the path that they're on is fucking horrible. And it's, they, like, crazy. And they deserve it, to be honest with you. Like, because, like, they've they been they spinning this narrative that I didn't I, 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 I didn't hurt myself. Fuck about me. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can do whatever And you could see, like, the slit like, in my fucking wrist. You, you can see, like, the gash. Yeah. You can see, like, that's, you know, any nurse. I, and I can't put this up because I'll get reported. I can't put them up. I, I tried on the last line. Any nurse would tell you that if you had a cut that deep in your wrist, number one, you'd have tendons cut. Number two, your hand would probably fall off. <laughs> and Johnny Crack, he does a little while ago. We were cracking oh, up because me. because he said what he's like, don't you guys have anything better to do? Go buy a goat and make some goat cheese. <laughs> <laughs> or go get some chickens and chase them around the yard. <laughs> I love it. Oh. You are I posted them. I got reported. There's no you way. Prove yourself that you have nothing to prove to fucking nobody. Here, Mara. Mara, do you want to be the person that sends the pictures out to people? What the fuck was that? Um. Wait, if they just heard a motorcycle, that does that mean they're in a motel? Or a hotel holiday inn? <laughs> I'm just saying, if they heard the outside. No, it could just be like, it a could really still be the second floor. Like, it, but one of those outside drive up. Um, mm, true that, true that, true that. I can't ignore it. Like, it's, they're taking money out of my pocket. They're telling people, they're saying I faked a suicide attempt. That me and Julie are scamming people for money, faking suicide attempts. Do you understand what that's? No, don't worry, Drazo. They're in like the Carolinas somewhere visiting a friend who's had an aneurysm and a stroke and pneumonia. Something like that. What that does to a person's reputation, you just can't ignore that. You can't. And I've ignored it. And this is six months ago. And I've ignored it. And I've ignored it. And I never released those pictures up until like two days ago. I, I haven't because like I didn't want, you know, I survived it. I didn't think I was, to be honest with you. Like I did, I did a real number. Wait, I thought you took the photos for your grandstanding, uh, big, uh, moral high ground death. So then why, why did you keep them till now? <laughs> I didn't want to release them, but I took them for everyone to see. Right. I know they are not in Florida. I think they're a little bit North and, um, rumor has it they're in one of the Carolinas. If you go to Jay Today's community tab, she has a map um, with a city marked that is in um, that is in the, the su southern part of one of the two Carolinas. I forget which one. Okay. My fucking self. I didn't think I was going to live. Um, but like after, you know, Thank God Cody came home and caught me. <sighs> Everything I said about that day is 100% true. And these people are still fucking making me relive this, saying I didn't do it, saying there was no blood, saying I never slipped my wrist. Do you understand what that's like? Do you have a In Minecraft, Denise Ann, in Minecraft.
Barbara will kill herself. Do you understand? Like, I, I don't think anybody will ever understand that. I honestly don't. I don't. I don't think they will. Um, you know, I, I, I just don't think they ever will. And, you know, people say, ignore, ignore, ignore. But, like, when you're putting hashtag John Yates, hashtag fake suicide, when a bunch of people are doing that, I'm like, you know, but John, I lose not, income John, from that. Can I, can can I say, say something here? Because, because when, you say, when you say hashtag John Yates and hashtag John Yates, like, suicide or, like, cuts himself or, or um, like, going crazy or, like, whatever, that's how they get their money. That's how they get no, it's not. Do you know what a hashtag is? <laughs> like, do you? Yes, you're right. They got 80 cents extra for you. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Can't when he says that. That's how they make their money. I know. It just... <laughs> like, again, like, you make, like, a couple bucks off of every stream. Right. So, it's your okay. personality, and if people like you, that's okay, where you fine. make your money. The hashtag got her at 30 cents. You want 30 cents back? Like, what are you talking about out of your ass? Right. Get money. If, if, if they're not talking about John Yates, they don't get money. And it's the fucking truth. It's so fucking true. If John disappeared, what would they have? And actually, this stream isn't going to be monetized even, so I'm not making any money off of you, John Yates. So shut up. 30 cents. Not even 30 cents, because it <laughs> won't get monetized. They have nothing <laughs> to talk about. Because all they want is fucking drama. They want drama. They want to, like, just keep rehashing shit. They want to, like, just bring up old fucking shit from years and years and years and years ago. Just, like, fucking, I don't even want to say her name, but S. Don't and, names. No, I'm not. But, like, the S and the M. And, like, the the other ones. That, Who's like, S? You know, I'm not. I didn't. Oh, see so what? All of them. All of them. I mean, as you guys know, all the, all the people that you know that I'm trying to mention, but you guys know. But if if John disappeared and was never ever ever online again, they wouldn't know what to do. They wouldn't know what to do. The hotel phone. Yeah. Answer it. Could they be more responsive? I'm just take try to answer a phone. Oh yeah, maybe that's why the front desk called to tell him to shut up. Probably. Now we'll find out in a minute. I swear to God, if they know what hotel we're in right now, oh hell break loose. If they know what hotel we're in right now, there's a tracker on my car. He's already manifesting that he's gonna lie about it. Mm -hmm. And we've already have proof that people came to our house and were taking pictures. I swear to God, if there's a tracker on me. I will go rogue. <laughs> oh my god. No, John, the tracker's on Cody. Oh my god. Going? No one's putting a tracker. You're a nobody and you can't go rogue. You're not part of a team. What are you talking no, about? A tracker. When Cody was in the hospital or when John Lydon was in the hospital, they actually put a tracker in him. <laughs> it's inside of him. You got to get rid of each other. That's it. Didn't you know? <laughs> and Penny Kitty, hello. Hey, Kitty. No, he's going to go rogue. Rogue from what? Your team? What do you, do you know what rogue means? Where are you going rogue? <laughs> what are you going to do? <sighs> oh my God, I can't with him. Only six more minutes. Nobody should know where I am right now. Nobody. So somebody pinpointed, nobody, not even my friends know. What hotel I'm at right now? Bullshit.
you're right, Star. It's exactly what happened, but he's going to use it to say someone called and asked for him. And nobody there's no right. Nobody should know where I am. Nobody. I didn't tell anybody what, where we are. Yes, you did. The one with the biggest mouth. What, what city I'm in right now, but like not where we are. Yes, you did. And if, I'm telling you right fucking now. Hmm, you're lowering your voice. I wonder why. Coming. I like for John use his room. And I said, well, you know what? We're being harassed, so if anybody else calls, get a name, because the police will be definitely notified. So whatever, y'all want to keep doing it? Anyone ever been to a hotel where they make you come to the front desk if someone calls for you? <laughs> no? Right. 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 And all of a sudden his voice got lower because they were telling you to shut the fuck up. Ghostface, you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, whatever. So, that's okay. They call him just ask for John Yates' room. And... Come on, give me your phone. Give me your phone now. The tracker's not inside the phone, John. Now I feel like I'm in a movie. The tracker is not inside the phone. Move slowly away. <laughs> Imagine he like breaks the phone. I would die. <laughs> Ste steps on it. <laughs> we have to leave. Yes, please hit wait, the like wait, button wait. for me. Hold on, they're whispering. I want to try to hear it. Hold on. What are they saying? Jesus Christ. I swear to God. Oh. I'm holding it up to my ear. <laughs> Oh, wait. The tracker. So if somebody. Sorry, I'm. I'm going to try to listen. The lady called and asked for John Yates' room. I said, well, you know what? We're being harassed. So if anybody else calls, get a name because the police will be definitely notified. So whatever. Y'all want to get in Okay, yeah. Why are you going to the front desk? Why didn't we hear you say any of that on the phone exactly. to those people when they said that there was somebody? I mean, are you on? Yeah, you're on. I mean, what the hell? That's what I'm saying. Like, what, what hotel you ever been to where they're like, can you come to the front desk? I'm going to call for you. Right, exactly. <laughs> and then you're just coming back and going through this whole dumb spiel when all they really did was call and then come to the door and tell you to shut the fuck up. Or... They said, like, can you come to the front? Maybe they thought there was, like, domestic something because they were yelling back and forth. That maybe or they, they just one of them. wanted him to step outside of the room for a second. Right. Maybe they were just like, Are, is everything okay, you know? Yeah. I. Uh... Weird. Okay, let's try to hear what they whisper. They called and just asked for John Hayes' room. And... Somebody give me your phone. Give me your phone now. No, don't unplug it. No, I did. And I told the guy at the front, I said, if anybody calls. We have to leave. Can't beat myself on this. Can I? Damn it. <laughs> oh, and then there's 30 seconds left, so I wonder if he muted and then it's over. Yeah, probably. Is this the yeah. second? Yeah, that's it's over. the second one. Okay. Yeah. Then we just have the first YouTube one. If you don't mind staying for another hour. No, whatever you want. Oh my god. Well, not whatever I want. Whatever you can do. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going anywhere. Okay, thank you. I really appreciate it. No problem. 
Um, they were so loud all night. Yeah, something must have happened. That's weird. Uh, let's see. But it's good to know now I, I saved the website for the audio because when your internet's not shitty, it will help your computer before you get a new one. Okay. Right? Like just playing it because it helped a little, but obviously not. I was, pl I was still playing it off the phone onto the computer. I didn't put it on the computer. I don't think it was. I think it was the internet that was making it. Right, right, right. Okay. That maybe the phone. Pause this. Close this. 1.25. 1.5, I mean. How many lives were there? I was thinking of you, Miss Pisces. There, there was four two IG. Sorry, two IG, two YouTube. Yep. Hi, Pally. And I got them if you need them. All right. Hi, everybody. Um. So in order of chronology here, this was first. Just FYI. <laughs> And then the first IG, then the second IG. So we're playing it out of order, but this was the very first, right, Cooch? Um, well, no, we already did both the IGs. No, I mean, like, in terms of how he did it. This was first, right? The uh, well, no, well, it was the first YouTube Live. Then he deleted it. it. Right. And the, okay. so the one we're about to play was his very, very, very first thing of the evening. No, he did the two IGs first and then the YouTube. I don't think so. I thought the IGs were after because they were after I was asleep. This was all after. I mean, yeah, but this was he did both of the IGs and then he did a YouTube. He deleted the YouTube and then came back. Oh, OK, because I was uh, the first YouTube. I was still awake, but maybe I screwed it up. All right. So then I don't know. I'm wrong. Never mind. But yeah, this, the YouTube we're doing, I believe, was after the IGs and before the YouTube. But no, I guess no, wait, it can't be because that second IG, when it stopped at an hour, he went straight into that second YouTube. No, he would have gone into the first YouTube, right? No, the first YouTube was, remember, well, uh, it was supposed to be about his friend, and we, you and I were talking, and you were, remember? I was still okay. awake. Okay, then I guess he did do it first. Yeah, because that second Okay, then I guess I played it out of order, sorry. Yeah, so, but anyways, whatever. No, he did one YouTube. No, he did two YouTubes. No, she's saying he did one, then both oh, IGs and okay. another. Oh, okay, you want the second So she's idea. agreeing with you. Okay, uh, shoot me a DM with your email. I have to, oh no, wait, the second one I can send you the link. Okay. Hold me one second. Sorry, Sorry, my mouse. Oh, shit. Sorry, I'm struggling. Jake Freak, hello. I'm gonna slow it down. Sarah from Melby. Sorry, I'm mouse and I'm struggling. Jake Freak, hello. Ballistic. Sarah from Melby. Empress Heather, Ruth Ann, Cindy, Julie. Sarah Femme, hi honey, Holistic, MTT, Christina B. Oh wait, okay, no. Anya. Stop for a sec. No, then Pally, you're wrong. There was another YouTube. So there was actually three YouTubes and what? two IDs. We're not counting the very first YouTube that's still up. I don't think that's what this is, is it? This is a deleted one. Hold on, I'm going to his channel right now. I think there were only two. There was the where no, I, I was in. I was sent this and told it was deleted. And I was sent it and told it was deleted before he was done with the, or right after he was done with the other YouTube that you saw. Let me see what he's got up. He's got none of it up. Oh, let me check his members. Oh, I can't. The only one he's got on members is the very, the one that you saw. How do I know what's on members? And this is not the very first one, I don't think. Well, oh, I guess so you think there was one even before you and I talked last night? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what I think. Okay, well, we'll see. Well, I was told that it was not a members only and that it was deleted. Well, we'll know from the beginning because I remember the beginning when he was like sad and something happened, right? Right, yeah, no, we'll figure out and we'll, we'll be able to out. figure out the order, I think, too. Yeah, let's see what happens. I'm kind of just going real fast. I'm really reading the chat and just trying to celebrate. I'll see Amanda. Nice to see you again. I've seen a bit. Uh, I think I could slow it down. Going real fast. I'm not really reading the chat. I'm just trying to be. It's not really a big deal right now. Um, if this is the one that's still up, we don't even need to play it. I don't see any up. I mean, the very, oh, the so the original one that he did early in the night is gone. If I go to his live, 
all I see is the most recent one is this is four days ago. My God. Okay. Well, we can still don't have to play this one now. Well, I don't know. Let's figure out and make sure of what it is. And then let's just listen to the beginning and say, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Things and I don't want anything being spun negatively. Um, you know, because everybody takes what I say. I'm like a Bible, so I'm trying to figure out the way to say this the right way. This is the one we listen to. Yeah, I, you're right. Okay, there was only okay, so that's this one. So, do you want to do it? Um, it's up to you. No, it's your. Channel. I don't care. Do you guys want to hear it? How about that? <laughs> yeah. Second one was uh, yeah. The second one yeah. Yeah, the second one that it went to members only. Okay, do you want to hear this one now or another time? Let us know. Go. <laughs> or... Uh, well, yeah, I guess. Okay. Because I imagine a lot of people saw this one, but then probably a lot of people didn't, if it's, especially now that it's, that it's completely down. Yeah, it was early. It was like before I fell asleep, so it wasn't that. He, he almost, he could almost, he would have any, he could have a real head convinced he was sober. I mean, I you could tell that he wasn't sober, but... Like he was almost kind of half sober in the first one. Okay, let's keep rolling. All right. Um, recently, hi, Lathana. Um, I just found out that somebody who I consider, I don't even want to say a sister because it's more than that, like, almost like a wife, to be honest with you. Um, one of my lifelong friends that I passed at 13 years old. Um, got hit with, um, out of nowhere, um, a stroke, a brain aneurysm, a collapsed lung, and pneumonia, all at once. And this friend of mine, and I'm not going to say any names because I don't want to know how people are, so she, um, this person told Okay, so see what I was saying earlier, when he said that, when people were like, uh, she's in a coma, I was like, wait, I never heard about coma. To, like, I, did, I didn't think he said coma. I think he says it a different time. Like, I think he adds it. I don't know. Right. Giant, my heart. You know, um, you know, like, like the human hearts in sections. Um, I always kind of like cord off my heart section. So, um, you know, I would say that, that Cody owns 25% of my heart. Um, the person who was speaking now owns 25% of my heart. Um, then I have another 25% of my heart to my family that I lost. And um, another 25% of my heart goes to the people who are in my life now. And, Cody would even tell you this, that um, I love this person more than Cody. <laughs> what the frick? You love <laughs> what? <laughs> You're supposed to love your spouse and your children and your parents the most. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was but at least your spouse should be the number one love. What the I thought maybe he would go with, like, I love this person as much as Cody. Right. You can have like, equal love and different type of love. but let's pray for the more than. Oh, my God. How does that feel, Cody? That <laughs> was very unexpected. <laughs> oh, I'm not laughing, but that's amazing. I didn't catch that first time. I'm glad <laughs> you're playing it. <clears throat> and it's been um, really tough. Um, they were in a, in a coma. Um, and let me tell you something about this person who I'm speaking of. Um, you might think that because of my reputation, my friend who is in the hospital with 8 million tubes and doesn't drink, um, won't even take an aspirin. Her only vice is that she smokes cigarettes. Um, and she... It's so healthy and it just all at once boom 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 and um it, i i don't know i've known this 
person in 713. We grew up on the same block, a few houses down from each other. I can still see us like playing kickball together, like on the corner in eighth grade. This person also shared something very similar with me in the fact that both of our moms ended their lives. He just said coma. I missed it too. Um, oh, okay. Well, there you go. Thank you. Mine went when I was nine and hers went when she was 10. So I can't tell anybody who doesn't know me how connected we are, but we are connected in every sense of the word. Um, and this was such a complete blindside. Now I've got that song Psycho Killer in my head. Run, 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 run away. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> in the situation that they're in right now, she was always yelling at me to get healthy. Much like most of you do, you know. Um, and here she is. Fighting. And here I am. And on my eyesight and my marriage, if I could switch places with this girl, I would do it in a minute. Did you say on his eyesight? Did he just I guess that's better than on Terry Lynn's eyesight. Well, that's such a random thing to like. He's like, on my oh, marriage, yeah. I get, but on my eyesight? Right. <laughs> well, because I think T.L. was in the back of his head. <laughs> like, on my ability to speak? Like, that's weird. I don't know. It's just me. I wouldn't even think twice about it. Give me a second. It's getting the visine. Agree, Denise. And a partridge in a pear tree. All right. Try to skip ahead. Yeah, some of those pauses were. Sorry. Uh, I was just going to say the word long, but it answered <laughs> for me. I'm just going to scroll. Whatever the thing is, and I, I, it's insane to me. Um, it's insane how life works. And like I said, like I would do anything to trade places with her because she needs to be here. With that being said. Oh. Say five golden rings, four IG lives, three YouTube <laughs> streams, two boxes of wine. And a partridge in a pear tree. And uh, in a very loud hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> By a palm tree. <laughs> and I'm going to do my best to stay here as long as I can. I don't know how long that can be. Um, but um, I will say that today, we, um, we, you know, we were just there at the hospital. And, um, you know, she was like a, like a little cognitive. Um, and, you know. I'm hoping that that improves and, um, but, um, we're going to be here and so much so that despite whatever the outcome is, we are, remember, we're going to, we're going to move down here. Well, I guess that's what they were talking about before talking about moving and then getting mad at people for saying he lives in a hotel. <laughs> fucking moron <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's no way that I ever want that I 
I just don't want to be separated. And um, today was a great day. It really was. Yesterday, when we first saw her, not good. It's scary. It's very, very, very scary. Very scary. And even today, like, you know, she, she was awake, kind of. Um, and um, she under, she saw that we were there. And um, it was fun. So... Yeah, I just want to make sure I've got. I'm really. I mean, I'm not even lying when I say that I'm really bad when it comes to um retaining any kind of medical information. Mm -hmm. Um, I just want to verify that when you're in a coma, you generally can't speak, right? Correct. Okay, so she's. It's safe to say that she's probably, hopefully, at least lightly out of the coma if she's able to speak. So, yeah. I so, just want to verify this. I believe he meant maybe he meant in the past the coma because if he right, said, like oh, maybe yesterday she she was unresponsive. Correct. Okay. Can I just say that it really bothers me that he's acting like this and they're going to move down because life is short when his sister. Is taking care of his father right now, not that far from there. Yeah, really. I, that is not lost on me. But, oh my God, you are so correct. That is not fucking lost on me right now. You are so correct. So she's, she's working on fighting. And, and he didn't even call his sister. He called, you know, he talked about how he called his stepsister and not his sister uh, Text yesterday. Her. Text her. He's gross, but whatever. She's gonna beat this. She's gonna beat it. And I really need all of you. I, I don't want to give names out, but just, just praying. Just please pray. Just, just pray for, for these good things on our side. Like we are praying hard for the whole bunch of people. And, just, and I don't care if you hate my guts. This person is an angel. They're not even associated with any of this. Thank you, Wicked. Um, Johnny Crack TV. We can only deal with one Yates husband's death in a weekend. We can't even discuss that one right now. It's just too much. <laughs> <laughs> and she sat there and she held my hand um, as she saw each one of my family members die and there's a lot of family members that died and she was always there for me and she held my hand and this you know I hate to say God works in serious ways all those cliche and all that shit I can't fucking stand them um, but um, she, she was there for me over and over and over and over and over again um and I was actually I was down like how I love her more than you. And you know that. Oh, it's true because I it's true, it's true. Again? Again. I love her more than you, and you know that. Right. Fuck's sake. <laughs> hey Dreadhead. Hey Debbie loves to chat. Oh, it's true. Oh, I'm not mad about that at all. It's true. I actually know because I actually when I met John and before we even like got serious and like whatever, I would talk to her on the phone more than you would. So I became best friends like with her and she became mine and we would talk and everything else. So I've known her for what, 15, 16 years now, bro? Well, yeah, yeah. That you know, back in 2007, she helped me through your asthma attacks and everything she wanted to do, like with a hot shower and everything. And like, she, yeah, uh, that girl is, trust me, I, I, and I hate to say it also, but I love her more than I love you. I mean, not in a bad way, but. Okay, what's happening? What is this? Did what Cody just say the same thing that he loves her more than he loves him? Yes. Um, Why don't they marry her? I was like, this is awkward. It is. <laughs> Very awkward. I, I'm not sure what part of the story is enhanced by you saying that on the live. You know what I mean? Like you could have that part out. I guess though, if it's equal, the marriage is still healthy. Well, I f Cody's felt a little like, well, I love her more too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. It felt a little like I'm gonna get you back. It's just <laughs> awkward. Like you didn't need to. No part of the story was enhanced by that detail. <laughs> right? Like we didn't need to know that. No. We didn't need to know about your dysfunction more than we already do. Again, stop sharing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, she has, like, half my heart, too. So, back in 2010, I go, well, you know, um, that girl is, because Cody, Cody had never been to New York before. Like, he never even left Florida. Yeah, I've been to New York. <laughs> I've never been to anybody that had asthma attacks. I've never left the South. Like, had any, like, whatever that John has. And, like, whatever. Like, I was fresh to the game. Right? And she was, she was my rock. And she really, like, she... I can't even put it into words. And back like, when, amazing. I, when I first met Cody, like when, when like you know I was like, twenty eight, he was twenty three. Like you know when we went to, and I'm forty three now. You know, so just to give you an idea. Um, uh, shut up. Cody already has that harp. Uh, I'm so old now, but uh, he's living into a retirement community. You know, we, we actually lived with her. Oh, we did. We lived yeah. with her. Yeah. And then she found us. She held us fine, like the apartment. And I said, like, listen, yeah. your, your big trial is seeing if, and I'm saying, you know, her name. We'll just call her. Uh, you know what, Denise, that's a really good point. Why is it 25%? Why can't you love, I love this person 100% this way and this person 100% this way? Because he doesn't know how hearts work. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't know how emotions work. Okay. 
<laughs> you have to pick. Like he thinks like, you know, he fits in with the stereotype of when like, you know, uh, a single parent gets like a new love and the kid's like, you, you're you like kicking me out for them. He'd be like, yeah, you are. There's not yeah. You know what I mean? That's weird. Like there's, that's weird. <laughs> He'd be like, yeah, absolutely. Talk about for now, you know, I say, well, you got to pass both tests to see if you're truly worthy of me. And um, I passed the first time. This first she both. called me. When did she call him? Um, but um, so that's the reason why I haven't, been, I haven't been going live or posting about the shows because honestly, it's not none of it's important to me. No, we have trust me, we have a lot going on, and like we told you guys that before, we had stuff going on and like whatever. So like we weren't like that. So it's not we have we have tons of stuff that we need to deal with and like whatever, take care of now and stuff like that. But, you know, the only thing stuff. that matters right now to me yep. is that this wonderful human being gets good. And please, guys, please, please, please pray, 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 and just keep just keep us in your prayers, and we can pass on the prayers to her because we do. We pray for hours with her every time that we see her and stuff like that. So and honestly, I could be watching like you know Sister Wise right now, and thank you for watching this now while Sister Wise is on. But thank I you. could be watching it right now and like doing live, but like I, I feel like it would be an insult to her and to why we're here right now. And yeah, I can't, I can't. I'm here for her and like her recovery and stuff like that. I, it's, it's everything. When you have to tout your benevolence like that, it's not real, <laughs> right? I'm be making money right now, but I'm not. Look how good I am. Well, and. <sighs> And actually, I mean, don't most people who have real jobs, like, you force yourself to go to work and put in, put on a smile and do your job. So, if he needs to watch a TV show for an hour and a half, take some notes, or two hours, and then do, you know, an hour or an hour and a half live. Well, it's again, just, the oversharing, right? Like, we don't have to even know that this person is sick. Right, you could just be. Yeah, I this, and if you're doing it from a hotel, you don't have to turn your camera on. Even you can just. Yeah, it's none of our fucking business that your friend is sick. <sighs> There's just so much, and you could just continue to do because because many 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 people have to go through life and perform normal daily routines as they suffer through the bullshit of of, of the bullshit that we all suffer. Yeah, he's like, I just don't think it'd be fair to her. I'm like, I promise she doesn't care if you do your job. Right, exactly. If she, if if she's the love of your life, as stated, it's not insulting if you do your job. No, exactly. Dummy. I'm here for her, and um, until I get a better idea of what's going on, and that's what I was gonna say. But at the same time, this is a business, right? And I do make a significant income from you know YouTube. So I did, you know, I, I didn't want people thinking I had disappeared or it's not like you know I. You know, people canceling memberships because you know it, this is why I've been um, not posting and not going live, and um, you know it's super serious. And I I'm trying to hold it together now, right now. Like I can't like, even go and stop crying. Well, like, um, like no matter what, people are still going to like bash and like whatever. And... Why is it quiet? Oh, there's a pause now. They muted. Yeah, I'm sure they muted. In time this is a business right and i do make a significant income from you know youtube so i did you know i, I didn't want people thinking i had disappeared or no, it's not like you know i you know, I'm <laughs> canceling memberships because you know it, this is why i've been um not posting and not going live and um you know it's super serious and i i'm trying to hold it together now right now like i can't like, like, stop crying well, um, um like, no matter what people are still going to like bash and like whatever and I don't know what happened. We'll just wait out the. I don't know why he keeps pausing or keeps muting to, yeah. to whisper whatever, to say whatever to Cody. Cry, Cody! And he, like, takes his, like, leg and jams, like, stamps on it, stomps on his yeah. foot, you know? Right. Breaks his toe. <laughs> Throws the remote at his head. Cry! <laughs> God damn it. I remember a, at least one of the pauses was abnormally long. Might be this one. <laughs> We're not abnormal yet, but yeah. Yeah. Sorry. And um, oh. what say? is that life? You don't know what's going to happen. Life gives you and limits, and you put not animal. You, you don't know, Shannon. Uh, you don't know what's going to be dealt to you. 
at any given time. I certainly, in a million years, would never <laughs> from her, the most healthiest person in the world. And like, you know, oh, if she's friends with John, she must be crazy, you know, or like whatever. Um, but, you know, you don't know what, what's going to hand you, what, what life is going to hand you, like at, at, at a moment's notice. Um, so my advice to everybody, you know, just be there for the people. Uh, we don't want your advice. Shut up. The person who is sick. See, that's what I thought. That he had originally said shark. So I was in the Carolinas. Like, that's why I was confused. Could have sworn I heard New York. Maybe she moved. I don't know. South. Oh, right. They yes, have, she she had to have been in New York at a certain yeah, time. she used to live in New York. She was the address that they right, used, so I think. She... Right. Rumor has it for their insurance and whatnot in New York. Oh, so maybe she has like two and they're like or something. Yeah. yeah. I, I, stupidly, very stupidly, dropped all the people in my real life. And I have. I sure fucking did. This. This right here really made me mad because he admits he dropped everybody, but then he wants to blame it on all the inter internet hate. And no, it's not. You dropped everybody because you started thinking of yourself as a little bigwig blogger when all of a sudden you were arguing with, you know, one of the real housewives and then, you know, making hate pages on Auntie's advice and, and doing all this shit. Like you chose all these hate paths and all this hobnobbing with Zealous celebrities that you could do. And you chose to ignore all of your freaking friends that you made all of your real life friends and it didn't go unnoticed by any of us because I was complaining over the summer like why is this guy only going on vacations and and seeing all of these like low low class crappy you know zealous celebrities over like his real friends who would ground him and now he's answered the question because he pretty much gave all of them up except for the one in New York who he used for her address and that that apparently has 25% of his heart Okay. I drop all the people in my real life who know me for forever and know what kind of person I am. I drop them all for strangers on the internet. I drop them for strangers on the internet who are saying mean things about me. Because that is Siggy Flicker. Flicker. Sorry, if anybody watched The Housewives of New Jersey and remembers Siggy Flicker, she's yes. probably one of the stupidest housewives. Oh, he was the worst. <laughs> he was the worst. And he, he fangirled over her and um they I guess talked online and stuff. And then he was like, I don't know, one of her biggest fans or something. And then he didn't like something she did and ended up becoming like some weird stalker or like hated her or like fought and I don't know, just some of the stuff I saw on Reddit that they ended up fighting and like he's like it's just, first of all, how can you even be a fan of her? <laughs> but it's just, and that's like the time. Housewives, they got to stop making the token Jew the biggest pain in the fucking ass. <laughs> I didn't even her know and Dwayne, I can't. I can't. <laughs> that's funny. I didn't even know she was, but she was a huge pain in well, the her, ass. Her, uh, her name is short for Sigalit. She's also Israeli, like Dorita. Oh, gosh, that's a gorgeous name. Yeah, it didn't, doesn't fit the personality. Though. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Sorry. Took up all my fucking time. That's what it is. Took up all my time. Strangers on the internet who don't know me and will never know me and will never meet me, I drop them all. For strangers on the internet. Demons. And when I say strangers on the internet, I'm not saying like to, to the good people. They're just like idiots who just want to fight. And like no matter what you prove or what you say or what like whatever proof you show, it's never gonna because those people are gonna hate you regardless. If Jesus Christ was right here in that chair saying, "My child, John Yates is speaking the truth," and listen, it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter. And um. That's my bad. Um, and if there's like one small positive I can make out of this whole mess, um, it's the fact that I reconnected with everybody that has known me for years. Like I keep friends. Um, if you saw our anniversary pictures, like, you know, I have had the same friends since high school. I'm 43. And uh, no, you didn't because you dumped them all. Self. I stopped talking to the people that mattered and fought people who don't fucking who are just who just are trolls. I, I and um to the people who I know and who I just reached out to, which I told you, um I am going to do a better job of being a friend and be the person who I used to be before I got 
dragged down by stupid people on the internet. Who cares? Who cares about these people on the internet? Like, it's very eye-opening. Um, and, um, you know, Thanks, you know, probably all of you in the chat right now are like, I'm not trying to discount people who I've never met before. I'm just saying like, um, it's stupid for, and it's, you know, it's just not me. Um, it goes to everybody like who's on YouTube or whatever, like, you know, fighting strangers and stuff like that. And this, that, and the other, like, God, like, I can't put it into words. I can't. It's just it's stupid. And just hearing, like, I, you know, I spoke to a couple of my bridesmaids today who I haven't spoken to in like five, six years. Just because, like, you know, once I got, you know, the truth is, back in 2016, 2017, like, when, like, this started rolling for me, um, I just stopped talking to all my real life friends at once. And, like, those that know, Why is that? what? Why is that? Because this is like a, this little gossip game and the blogging stuff is, is like a 24 hour a day job. You're always trying to get the scoop first. Always trying to get, like, you know, published first. Like, you know, you want the scoop, you want this, you want that. And, like, all of my friends fell by the wayside. Not, not the person who one year He makes it sound like he's a big time New York, like New York Times reporter or something. Like, <laughs> not even close. And you're, he's the one that chose all the paths he chose and all the hate. Okay, I'm sorry. It's annoying how he's like, you know, you got to do this, you got to do that all first, which is all believable. Yeah, you do, but you did so much more besides that. Mm -hmm. Like this, but in general, um, and like, you know, there were days where like, I don't even talk to Cody, I don't even talk to Cody, two, three days in a row, where like, I'm trying to get like, and I know he's not mad at me or anything, I know nothing wrong, like whatever, he's just dealing with the drama that he's like, right? And then, well, that, like, you know, so trying to, uh, you know, a 90 blogger, or a housewife blogger, or a sister wife blogger, or whatever else you talk about, right? Like, you know. That's like a 24 hour day job as it is because there's so many people out there right and i've been at this for a long time and then you have this other sub community where like they just talk about people who talk about the fucking shows um saying horrible lies about you trying to spread you all the goddamn time and then and then whatever spare time you have left from talking about like you know the, the shows like 90 day or, or real housewives or whatever then you have to defend yourself from idiots who just want to like take you down it sounds like this is the the speech that he gave, like, because in a minute he's going to talk about, I guess, a couple of the people he ran into that were, um, that I guess were, were close to the person who was in the hospital that he knows that where he was friends with also. And this kind of sounds like the spiel that he gave all of them about what are you doing, you know, oh, what have you been up to? What are you doing with your life now? It sounds like, you know, his. I'm a celebrity. <laughs> yeah. I'm fancy. Like, I, I'm, you know, Cody's lucky if I talk to him. You know, because I'm just, I'm embroiled in this stuff. And I, it, it's a lot. Um, I know that recently, like, you know, I think we've been doing good lately, right, babe? Like, you know, like, we've been sticking to the content. And it's been, show, it's, it's it's been showing. And the other gross content, because you have so many of these other people, which we all know who they are, then we don't... We don't, we, don't have to, we don't have to sit there and cover it because they're already covering everything. So we just focus on us and just do our thing. Even though they're going to sit there and talk about us and like whatever, but eh, let them do their thing. They're not getting any bigger. They're not getting any lower. So whatever. Whatever makes you happy, Merry Christmas. Good luck in the new year. <laughs> it sounds like a brand new idea. <laughs> Did he randomly mute here? Sorry, dog dinner, but he's muted anyway. <laughs> oh, gosh, I thought he went to the ice machine. <laughs> dog dinner while he's muting. Good <laughs> Interesting time. That's funny, Denise Ann. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Wouldn't all his friends be up north? That he went to school with and stuff? That he wants to get all back in touch with and everything? Yeah, that's weird. He's neglected. All the Carolinas. <laughs> that's a very good point. I'm sorry. I just got a text from somebody saying that um, I hope your friend dies and you die too. So I the camera off for a second. I'm not laughing. It's the way he said it. <laughs> I don't believe he got that text. I don't believe it for a second. Yeah. Oh and he God. did just so nonchalant. I hope your friend dies. <laughs> I hope you're not, and your friend dies too. <laughs> Stop. So that's fine. Thanks for sharing. I, I don't know why these people. I know it is. It doesn't matter. 
same person who sent me all the other texts. And the one that I got also before. Is it Lynn? Or Lay? Or Lynn? I can't see. Is it Lay or Lay? Disgusting. Just me, or was that joke never funny? So there's a reaction. Either way, you don't fucking scare me. And why is it now whenever I, like, yeah, but now it's in my head. So. Oh, like, Earworm. I'm not here to talk about this, these losers. I'm not. They're not they got a lot of things that have not been connected, gentle, but Lord. It's Christmas. Violet wants to know if you've eaten. Violet wants to know if you've eaten. Oh. Not, I choose not to answer. It's the holiday season. Okay. And um, this is what people do. This is what people do. They hide behind computers and they hide behind phones. And if you all notice, I have not spoken about any of those people that I have moved away from. No, sure haven't. Two months. Have you, has anybody in the chat heard me say anything about certain people that I used to be connected to? I haven't, because I moved on. You don't get to be the one that moves on when you do the bad things. That's not how that works. I know. Like, you don't. That's the theme this week. Someone else was like that this week on CWIS panel. Like, I just want to move on. You did it. What are right. you moving on from? Exactly. Like, you just don't want to take accountability for any of the shit you do. You just want to move on. And then the more time that goes that you don't take accountability and then you do more shit on top of it, this suddenly lands where we are today, sir. Again, but go ahead. try this. Wise, and that's your argument. That's a fair argument. You get to, choose to move on if you apologize and take accountability. You get to do that. But not when you don't. Right. Well, and a generic apology doesn't work either. You got to take accountability. No, right. When you really like exactly when you do whatever. You know, you're, it's okay, like, if people keep wanting to bring it up that you want to move on, but you haven't. You keep lying. Right. So it's not really going to work, but let's go ahead and try it. <laughs> and what's super annoying, I'm going to off the rails now, what's super annoying is that I actually thought that these people had moved on. I did, I, I did. I, I, you know, it's been a couple of months. They never will. Let me see what I Hold on. It's been a couple of months. And I thought that, um, you know, I, I hadn't been talking about them, but they can't seem to let it go. They want to beat you. And otherwise they would leave you alone, but they want to beat you. That's what it is. It's just sad. Like, someone can't even let somebody be. You know, there was somebody who else just passed in the community, which we did, which I'm not going to even say her name. Um, oh, God. We grieved her very hard. And that death also came out of nowhere. Um, and, um, you know, I don't know why people can't, why, why people can't just let people rest. <laughs> um, Wait, did he mute again? No. Does he just I'm mute? Oh, okay. Right now, but like it has my friend's information in it, so I'm not going to do it. Thank you, Fritz. Um, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, but Thank you, Yahoo. I'm going to keep doing my content. Let me get back to it. And uh, that's it. I don't need to make money off of ruining other people's lives. And I think you've seen that. Um, no, but it was the same person that texted Julie. Yes. And me. And Cody. But it's not a completely different message. Listen, they're detectives, okay? And I think all of you who are watching, members, not members, whatever, I've noticed I have not, this is not my life. And I it said, was some kind of a message about uh, her spouse DVing her, and then she had a little laugh emoji like it was funny that people said that. Because uh, she's never affected. Mod 148 is never, ever, ever affected by anything that anybody says, and she just thinks everything is no, she so cares about funny. Nothing. And she's not going to address all these haters because it's so funny. <laughs> we don't care what Reddit has to say. Right. No, I yeah. really, it doesn't bother me anymore. I, just, what I crack up. I see the laughing emoji and that cracks me up because, you know, the bitch cares so much. I'm only getting weight loss surgery to prove them wrong, but I don't care what they have. Right? Do. She okay. did say that. Fuck you, Reddit. <laughs> talk about my TV shows, which I've been doing, and I've been happy. And I really thought this stuff was behind us. I will say this. 
to everyone who's watching right now. Have you seen me attack anybody in any community in the last few months? I'll wait. I haven't said anything about anybody. I have just been reporting on the TV shows that I cover and happily doing it. I have not, not, not one iota. I haven't. So imagine my surprise when we finally get to where we are right now and I see four or five different channels bring up stuff about my S attempt on Friday saying that we made it all up. Uh, it's people who I have, haven't talked about or mentioned, but these people just can't let me fucking go. They need you. It's, it's insane to me. It really is. It, it got to the point where we arrived here, where we are. Ooh, that last text is burning my insides out right now. And I'm doing my best to not give them what they want. I am giving, you have no idea. You've already failed twice by mentioning it. Just FYI. Right. How I'm trying to restrain myself right now. But I'm not going to get another reaction. Yes, you are. I was very surprised to see that after two months of me not talking to anybody. I, know, I knew I shouldn't have fallen asleep last night either. I, I knew that he was going to, something was going to happen after this live. <laughs> so do you want to laugh? So when I woke up and I caught that second one, and before I, before you woke up, see, I had messaged CUR or something and she was up. Oh no, she was up because she was doing a reading and she was up and I was like, I wonder if, who was I talking to? I was like, I wonder if Cooch's like JY radar went off and she's recording it. <laughs> I just picture you wake up in the middle of the night, like he's on. Yeah, I guess it did because I did end up waking up and getting <laughs> it. And I got the whole thing before he deleted it even. That's what I'm saying. You always, you normally always do. And it's like, I don't know how. And what is that at like 3 30 in the morning? I think. I know. Yeah, that was weird. I don't, I don't know. know. That wakes you up like <laughs> he's on. He's having a <laughs> well, I didn't even, I just rolled over and like, well, let me, let me just check my phone and check YouTube real quick. And then I see he's like, oh my God, I sh shoot up like a bat out of hell. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, melt down a clock. I have record, record, record. What do I do? <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> All coordinated forces with Twitter and like, you know, try to discredit me again, you know, with the S attempt to the point. Hold on, I need to aside with Cody. He's having an aside with Cody. Please hit the like button, please, if you don't mind, I'd appreciate it. Whilst we wait through this long pause, you can just close the chat, click it, come back in. Thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> oh, you know what I, uh, well, might as well, I could tell you while writing. I clipped, I'm making a few new like videos and the first one I made was pivot. Because <laughs> uh, you know how I always end up in like a weird like discussion and I got to go to another one? <laughs> yep, that's good. <laughs> I clipped pivot. Pivot. <laughs> that's great I know, made me very happy yeah Pally, you're right although if you're on the west coast then you've got the luxury of still being awake when he does the middle of the night thing. Right. at least when he starts it you might actually be awake right and I wouldn't have been rushing to see if I could fit it all in and yeah all that because to be honest he usually does it around 3am so yeah. So, yep. Me and Cody just spoke. These people know where we are right now. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. That's fucking creepy. That's fucking creepy. That's stalker creepy killer people. I have no That's idea. Creepy. Killer people. Oh. It's insane. So. Creepy. Oh my god. The chip is inside of you. <laughs> Another fucking pause. Talk. <laughs> they do it all the time. Jesus. They do it so much. It's so annoying. Thank you, not my real name. All right, well, I just finished another blanket. So. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> This turned out. I think it's 
it's big enough. I made a wheelchair blanket for my cousin when he goes out to smoke. Oh, nice. His legs don't get cold usually. Yeah. It's hard. You got to make like a smaller one, you know, because so it fits. Right. It's hard to figure out how big to make it. I think it's okay. Right, because it can't talk. Yeah, you don't want to get caught in the wheels. Lastly, I want to say this. I was made aware that my sister or stepmother passed away today. No, 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 no. And I didn't know if I should mention this or not. You should I know people have been. I don't consider her like. No. Do you, we don't have to play this part if you don't. Today. And, um, Maybe another time I'll come back and play the, this part, but it's just. I'm just skipping through it. <laughs> yeah, for now, just and, today, um, yeah. He's talking about um, his stepmother, and it's just better to skip through that oh, today. Sorry, not you. There's, um, you know, a lot of animals in my arms. It would give both Muzz and I uh, angry or, voices, or and we don't want um, his mom surrounded by angry voice. No, and I might start twitching. So. And, and then that, <laughs> we don't want, no, no twitching from us. No twitching, no twitching, no twitching. <sighs> I literally am not going to lie. When he started the live, when he was talking about like someone, like something bad happening, I actually held my breath for like two minutes. <laughs> and when, I, he, yeah. when he told me to stop watching, I literally was like, <sighs> I, I, I told you to breathe and stop watching. <laughs> I literally didn't even know I was holding my breath. So I was like, if I don't know how hard I'm going to jump through this computer, like I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, Lord. Um, I did on my IG. Um, I knew if I kept those up, um, I would they would get reported, and then the police be sent to my house. So um, yeah, didn't want to like really like advertise what I'd done back in June. But there were a lot of people who were saying that like I made it up. Gigi, you're that's funny. When Muzz and Kitty and I met up in Nashville, um, we called each other by these names and not our real names, even though we know them. So you had Muzz, Kitty, and uh, Cooch all. Hanging out versus our real names, yeah. <laughs> what about dildo swagons, Gigi? How do you feel about that one? Oh my God, dildo swagons! There's a take up an aisle four. Dildo swagons, clean up an aisle two. They feel like not paying attention to it. My numbers are up, and you know, it's whatever it is, what it is. But um, you know, um, those were pictures that I didn't want to share after the fact. You know, everybody wants me to prove everything in, in, in blood writing. Like, you know, I, I don't know why me, why I have to, like, prove everything. And, I, you know, I always do. But June, um, star. It was June. I posted the real pictures. And um, I don't want to look at them. And I don't want to have to relive that. Well, and, you know, and these people online, and I'm not naming names, but every time they go back into that, I have to relive it and go back to that dark place where I was at when I did that. And it's shitty. And these are people, you know, the thing is, let me, let me let me just say this real quick. There are people online, right, who say they're victims, and they're victims, and they are just trying to fight back. So the people who are attacking them and this, that, and the other, they're victims. Well, I have not spoken about any of these people who I have parted ways with now for like two months. Two months. I've been focusing on my TV shows, my content, which I've always said is what I've always wanted to do. I'm here because of like my connections to cast and TV shows and whatever. Always happened. I didn't start a YouTube channel. Cody, lower that. I didn't start a YouTube channel. <laughs> Just to like fuck with other people who have other YouTube channels. Like my my YouTube channel has always been about the show, Night Day, Sister Wives, Housewives. You know, so like I never needed this drama stuff to keep me afloat, ever. Like I have connections. Why would I need to like talk badly about fans of the show? No, never. Not me. And people may think like, oh, I only get the views when I'm talking about like drama, but uh, my views are way higher when I talk show than drama. So it is what it is. Like, um, but like I was very blown away by, you know, on Friday night when we finally got to where we are to go visit our friend who's in a coma. I get. I don't know, five, seven creators just trying to ruin me, my life with this, with the best attempt that I tried to do. Um, and, and whatever else, I'm sure they'll revisit, like, you know, the tires that, like. Just wondering, how does that ruin his life? No, and you have to hate follow him from the other mediums that he was using, hate follow him to YouTube, all the hate he had from Instagram and everywhere else, because all these people already knew he was a piece of shit. So it followed him to YouTube. They got the Reddit started over there because they wanted people to know what a piece of shit he was. And he's only become a bigger piece of shit since then. Yes, he has. 
So of course it continues and you're getting more people that are doing these videos on you because you're being a bigger piece of shit. Mm -hmm. True that, true that. Uh, reward or whatever. It, it, it's like the same shit from the same fucking people and it, it is exhausting. And I am not talking about these people. So to all of you who are watching in the bushes, take a gander of what these other people who I've cut ties with. Look at their channels. Look at their community pages. Look at all the people they are fighting with 24 hours a fucking day. Look at certain people who are alive on people's chats who don't sleep 24 hours a day, who don't miss a beat. And what I can say is that like I've only been focusing on my TV shows and that's that. But they all figure they would... Does anyone else find him very whiny and babyish right here? I do my TV shows and they stay up all night. Extremely. That's what I hear. I'll go live against me and they would get me. They would get the Yates meltdowns when they push the call itself. If this is the Yates meltdown that you wanted. Did anyone call it the Yates meltdown? <laughs> uh, right? I was thinking Yates meltdown. We never. It the, what is he? To what is he like uh, naming his own meltdown? All of a sudden? <laughs> he, name, he wants it to be called the Yates he meltdown. He wants it to be, have notoriety now. The Yates meltdown. Nobody <laughs> no. called it the Yates That's meltdown. Bad. It will never be called the Yates meltdown. Fuck no him and his new ride. It they called it the freak is freaking out again. Right. The weirdo is having a tantrum again. <laughs> That's what they called it. Not the Yates meltdown, y'all. <laughs> Stupid. And you got it. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I can look at their channels and see, like, that they're... Lee, really thank you so much. What happened? What happened? Oh, Lee! <laughs> I didn't thank you, Lee. He's a oh, thank you so much. Welcome to not being a dirty bitch. Lee, how are you awake right now? It's very late. Over there in the over the pond. Lee, I've got three members only videos. Make sure you check them out. If you have not, whenever you've got nothing else to watch, you'll enjoy them. He was when he talked about me, the views go up. Old hat. And the saddest part about it all is that. These people all told me they love me and they consider me family and they pounce upon me thinking because I had no family. They all, they're all dead and like they were there for me. And, and, and now it's, well, we need to talk about John to get the views, which it, it shows on, on your channels. So, you know, John's the alcoholic. I, let me tell you right now. I am as sober as sober can be. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. He couldn't even say the word alcoholic properly. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm sober. I'm alcoholic. <laughs> sober as sorry. I'm back. No. Alcoholic. <laughs> and, um, and I think you all know if I was like, I um, I'd be going off on all of them, and I'm not. I don't care. He will proceed to do so within the few hours of this live. Do three other lives, right? <laughs> For those who are just watching now. No, we can see in the future. Please rewind if you haven't seen the others. There, we cover the two IGs before this one that we're covering now. And then the one after this, you can find on Sea Women's channel from this morning. Mm -hmm. That my friend is okay. And I am going to surround myself with the good people here in this chat and the good people that I've had in my life forever. People who I abandoned because I didn't have time for that. My real life friends. Well, they're not, you know, they're not. And you'll never understand how shitty I feel for that. And it took something like this to happen to make me realize that there are bigger things in life. And, um, I really give negative 115 bucks about what a bunch of strangers with YouTube channels have to say about me because they don't know who I am. Liar! And they never will. I know who I am, and my friends know who I am, and my real life friends know who I am. I, I think it's all with, with my. Why are your real life friends that you dumped 15 years ago? They know who you are because they left. <laughs> you know, and right. On that. And I am going to make sure that I surround myself with the good. And I'm not giving any asshole who wants clicks and views a reaction out of me. Not a one. And that's that. So, Cody, Co, is there anything you want to say before good I hang up? Good night, bye, y'all. That's all I got, really. No, it's not. No. Nope. <laughs> um, I know. I would love to go live on Sister Wives or Night Day or, or Tea or Gossip, but like, I feel like that's doing an injustice to why I'm here and I am not going to sit here in a motel room. Oh my God, that's his fascination with Jesus. He thinks he's Jesus. He's going up on the cross for his friend. Oh, he says that all the time. He's Jesus. Everything. He's doing it for his friend, okay? What a martyr. Yeah, it's that's how he views himself. And um, to all my friends who I just reconnected with, 
my friends that I've, that I've known me since forever, like high school, like, you know, people say I can't keep friends. Let me tell you, <clears throat> I've had the same friends for 30 years. Um, what he means by that is he hasn't talked to them in 30 years, but they were friends and he might talk to them again and they didn't have the falling out. So they're friends. And how? <laughs> so, and those are the, those people, those friends have in these last few days really kept me in check and made me realize who I am. And um, that's all I have. Which is just the one in the hospital and the two that are also visiting us. <laughs> I don't know when I'll be live again. I know, um, in about five minutes from now. One of them, and one was unresponsive until today. <laughs> so, or yesterday, I mean. Excuse me, Lee, you're being very rude, okay? He is a benevolent human being who does the work of God. So, in a douche canoe. So please refrain from the snark. You know, he does it all from inside of a douche canoe. <laughs> in the presence of greatness. Why is he silent? And now, Kitty, right? I was, um, after I went to the Keys in June, and then I found out my best friend was in the hospital in July and spent a week in West Virginia. And I was barely, I mean, I was on YouTube a little bit, but, like, I would never think to go live or anything while I was in West Virginia. I didn't even tell anybody that, really, I told barely anybody that I was even there visiting a friend in the hospital. Like, you just, that's, you just, you do your life shit, man. <laughs> you don't make it all a production of lies and bullshit. You know, I have not been paused this whole time. He's just been silent. Oh, nice. <laughs> I love that. Two birds, one stone. Oh, no. Sorry, bird. Not now. No barking. He's still silent. He's got two minutes left. Is he silent for the whole two minutes at the end? Mm, I don't remember. Yes, we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Let me push it forward a bit. In these last few days, there really kept me in check and made me realize who I am. Hey. And um, that's all I got. So thank you guys for viewing. And um, I don't know when I'll be live again. I know. Um, <laughs> In a few minutes, in his car, screaming at everyone. <laughs> what time did he end this live? That the best part. He's like, I don't know when I'll be live again. And then cut to his very next live starts with, wait, let me just play what it's. Yeah, so it was 11 p.m. Eastern, so Hold when on. he finished this live. Okay, so just imagine that ended. I don't know when I'll be live again. I and that was about 11 p.m. Eastern. And it ends. And then probably about and then one here's or two. What comes next. Well, then he did an hour and a half on Instagram. So, and then three, three thirty, two thirty. So yeah, then probably so about an hour and a half after he ended his live, he went to Instagram, did he another did hour and a half, and then went to YouTube and did another two and a half. Wait, and he did this. I think. So right after that, and you... the fucking shots on my official account. <laughs> that's what, just so you know. That's the tone. After that, <laughs> right, the screaming tone comes after that calm. I don't know when I'll be back. <laughs> All right, well, we're done. Those three, okay. Minutes. I was holding my breath for like one more word. <laughs> nope. Yeah, the silences were wine breaks, and then by the time they did their uh fourth time going live they had the wine em an empty wine box was sitting on top of the chair sideways all empty was so it you know on the barricade yeah it was at the top of the barricade it felt like lem is which is really just the chair with a bunch of their clothes and then an empty wine box on top it was a very sturdy barricade they were safe for life it was, yeah it was a nice sturdy chair I mean, one good push in that chair. <laughs> <I'm just saying. laughs> I don't know what pillar they're keeping out, but uh, I don't know what murderer is going to be like, oh shit, they're not letting me in. I'm gonna, I'll take I'll do another one. <laughs> well, if there's really some crazy YouTube murderer out to get them, that chair is not going to save their lives. There's a knock and be, I guess they're not here. <laughs> 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 oh <my God. laughs> You're going to have to move the chair to look out the peephole. 
There you go. Unless you just climb up the mountain. The mountain. <laughs> the mountain. Yeah, a chair full of crap was put in front of the Dwarley to save their lives from the people who apparently found out their the address of the hotel they were at. Of which sounded like, I mean, I believe people like figured out the city, but people found out as much as he fucking told. Because either Cody or Julie were the ones that spilled the beans. This is so. I mean. It's one of the two of them. All the so, time. Yeah. If it was Cody, they probably knew the room number he was in. Cody also has a big mouth, too. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Like, let's, it's like Clint, you know, like, it's going to get out. Yeah, so, yeah, a chair, a chair full of, like, all their clothes, and there might have been some shoes and stuff. I'm telling you, know. you, have any of you seen Les Miserables, how they make the barricade with all furniture in the middle of the street? That's exactly what it reminds me of. That's their barricade. That a, but that was a huge barricade, wasn't it? I know, like, but I'm just saying, like, it's, like, a chair, furniture, like, it's just. Like, it's a chair with some shit. It's not, like, a huge, it's a like, tiny version. production of. It's a It's a sad version of it. Uh, yeah, like a really sad, like yeah. not even a Dollar Tree version. That's what it reminds me of, like a little, like a penny store yeah. version. <laughs> That's the funny. Cringe in his last. What? I wonder if his hotel stay has anything to do with the missing fridge in his last. He had a missing fridge in his last content live. He has a. Oh my god! When he goes live, what's there? there? I've never seen a fridge there. I don't watch. I'm no, he's got a fridge in his kitchen. Yeah, but why would you see it in his life? Uh, well, you could see it like he might have actually where he just moved his desk is in between. Uh, maybe he like kitchen and living room now. Yeah, not my real. But you can't really see the fridge from his location unless he turns the camera around. Then you easily could. Sometimes he pans to Cody in the kitchen. I think. Yeah, and if you pan to Cody, and there was, and I can't remember is the fridge across from the stove or is it across? From the um, other side when you first walk in. Oh, he showed the cat in the kitchen. He showed the cat in the kitchen sink. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, too cute. So. Oh my gosh! So that's the that's probably the last content live, like you said he did. I'm gonna have to go search for it. But why would he like lose a like? It, I'm just saying that's a very random thing to lose. I don't know. Maybe the fridge was broken and they like that wouldn't Cody make you move or not punched a hole. In the um, I don't know. <laughs> Johnny Crack. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then read the next one. <laughs> I can't read the next one. I'm so grossed out. <laughs> no, the next one's good. It's yeah. Look at the. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> it's so true. Oh Just my god! Food inserts itself through the cap. <laughs> <laughs> hey Johnny Crack, listen. I know oh I know that you only do your art when you get inspired. And I know this is from like a few like a month ago, but I don't know if you heard Maria talk about the homeless lady. Oh my god, you told Johnny Crack this. I have to. No, you did though. I did already? Oh, yeah. Never mind, Johnny Crack. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have no more. Excuse my story. I, about <laughs> Maria and the homeless um, lady home to prove she's not homeless. I just yes. <laughs> art genius hiding behind a tree, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think your crack elf can have some fun with that. Uh, have, yeah, they could have made a video easy on that. That would have been funny as hell. <laughs> well, with Cody feeding John to the side. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sucks. Johnny Crack. Ew, Glenn Crack, what? Ew, are you horrified for life? Ew, I would never want that. Nothing about that seems. Johnny Crack made JY's nudes. No. <laughs> Johnny Crack. I mean, Glenn Crack, I'm so sorry to the Crack family. I mean, Glenn Crack, not Johnny Crack. <laughs> These lives alone would give me inspiration for a week. <laughs> we have the Crack family and we have the Tramp family representing. You know, I am surprised, Johnny Crack, that there was no stool on the head photo. That was, you know what I mean? He could have drawn, like that could, he could have modeled for that one for you. 
really well. Oh, you know what, Pally? I cannot get into my Instagram. I am, uh, oh, my Instagram is just very fucked up and I might it's need to be making so. a new account. Yeah. Because I'm kind of locked out of it, I think, for good. And it's like disabled itself or something because it won't let me back in. If you want to pass it to me, I can pass it to her if you want to. The Tramp fam was in here earlier, Sly. Wait, what? Um, vegetable soup head was. It's true. We did see Cody in his boxers. Oof. Ew. Okay. Glenn Crack. You are. Glenn Crack. <laughs> Finding you out soon, okay? <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. I okay, I'm putting it up. I, can't, I have to. There's uh, the matriarch of the Tramp family. Oh, Star. Well, I can't. I'm stuck though. I can't do anything. I'm so confused. Oh, that's where the fridge used to be. And now there's a table there. It seems like. Oh, just is that doing... okay? Seems like. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll send it. To well, you. where the computer table is is in the um is in the little corner cubby before the fridge. If that's the Star's table you're referring to. Star's not giving up. I just shouted at you. Glenn Crack. I guess Maybe. I could take that off the screen. Sorry. Yeah, you, you really should be sorry. Okay? Sorry, Pally. You really should be sorry. <laughs> yes, his kitty desk. Yeah, I can get into my Facebook star. Here, hold on. Is the other one? Should we try to like find Cody naked? Does anyone really want to see that? Um, it was uh JY was and it's I don't want to show it. No, 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 no. And his boxers on the video. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> show his Hold nipple. Let me, no, his whole body. I just want to see his nipple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> that was very forceful. I just want to see his nipple. <laughs> sorry, that killed me. The way she said that. <laughs> All right, nipple. What about the nipple? Nipple. <laughs> oh god. All right, let me open it. I know it's got to be like an hour in, at least. Shouldn't be hard to find the skinny white pasty man. Right. Who's excited? Woo, woo. <laughs> so oh, Glenn wow. Crack, it's probably smaller than um than that dude named Codes. It sounds like. Oh, who? Who are we talking about now? Cody? Did I, JY say Cody used to be a dancer? A stripper, Denise. That's right. He said Cody okay, I used can to be. I totally a see that, and it's hysterical. Yeah, he used to be an exotic dancer down in Florida. That's amazing. Oh, my God. I want to go to the bar that he worked at. If anybody ever finds out the name of the bar that he worked at, I need to go there and take pictures and hang out. For a couple hours and have fun. Maybe he's on and like ask a anybody, show everybody the nipple and ask him if they remember it. Do you remember this nipple? <laughs> <laughs> I know nothing about third nipples. Who remembers this nipple? Okay, wait, hold on. Let me. Hold on. You guys, though, I want you to notice on my thumbnail, I did a weird um, mirror from Canva on their faces and if you look at cody his <clears throat> his chin looks like balls and then below it looks like there's nipples hanging below the balls i'm not even kidding it looks like balls and nipples and i didn't even plan that and then i saw it and i'm like oh my god this is a keeper so i'm really proud of cody's face and the and the ball and nipple effect so Please, if you can pay attention to that the next time you see the thumbnail, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> you can focus on that. That'd be really helpful. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. I think it's been a second now. All right. Because so far, he's still wearing a t shirt. Let's scroll ahead. Sly, right. Interview the coworker. Sly, it was probably like 15 years ago, though, when they met. 
Oh my God, you know what I'm laughing at, Cooch? I just passed the part where he kicked himself out and I'm sure he was yelling at the computer, not knowing he was kicked out. Oh my God. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, because you know he didn't realize he was kicked out. Right? He's just oh. screaming. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Actually, I'm not the people just want to oh. see my kid. I'm out here. I shake my Okay, here we are. <laughs> wow. Let's do a little share screen. You ready for nipples? Yes. <laughs> I'm taking it in my weed as I say yes, so it makes yes. me sound like I want it even more. <laughs> All right. Oh, God, that's good. Okay, wait. Let's see. Oh, you have to add me up. Glenn Crack, find out the bar that Cody used to strip at. And then I can go. I'm putting you on a mission you for me. You. Oh. Okay, ready, everyone? Should I slow it down a bit? I think it's better. No, I think we're good. Actually. If they want to play, I play. I don't give a fuck. I'm Wait, I have to mute myself. I forgot. One second. Naked, I'm out here. I shake my titties. I don't give a fuck. Yes, actually, I'm not. Naked. People just want to actually in my pajamas. People just want to hate me. They just. Oh my god. Oh my He's god. like, see, I'm not naked, and backs up his ass into it. I'm doing it again. Hold on. I'm naked. I'm out here. I shake my titties. I don't give a fuck. Who cares? Actually, I'm not but naked. People just want to hate me. in my pajamas. People guys. just <laughs> want to hate me. They just want to hate me. You're welcome. Oh, my God. <laughs> shake my titties. Look, I'm not naked. And his ass is like <laughs> in his, fully in his underwear. Oh, my God. Oh, that was great, huh? It's Glenn Craig, you don't do Florida. I do not blame you. I wouldn't do Florida if I hadn't gotten stuck here. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with Florida? Um, What's wrong with Florida? Many things. Many things. Like the Florida man. What? Just uh, Google Florida man one day. Well, I don't and want then to. Google your your birth month and year and then look at the crimes that the Florida man committed on on your month and year that you were or the day and month that you were born absolutely and not necessarily the, the, the year but yeah and then you'll see all the the crazy crimes that um Florida man is capable of I'm good okay <laughs> absolutely not <laughs> am I looking up star I would assume it was a gay club oh I want to find out the club and I want to go. You want to see the doc, the boxer picks? I just showed you. He backed up in with his ass twice. Hey, laundry is evil. He did a little wiggle backwards, you know? Shaked his titties, did a little butt wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> and far too much nip action. Well, yes, he enjoyed that. <laughs> I want another adult game night. Oh. oh, cool. Not that Lauren Marie. I can make that happen. I was always thinking about asking Drazo and Amy to join, but I know Amy doesn't really want to be a part of it, but yeah. I thought it'd be fun to have her in the background. But that's a discussion for another time. But yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. It could have. I mean, I doubt he was in Miami. He lived in Vero Beach. Can't imagine him being a stripper at a gay club in Miami. I think you got to be like a nine or a ten to get that job. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's like a six or a. I mean, back in the day, he was like a six or a seven or an eight. A six they or were seven. both handsome when they looked way more sober and younger. All right, I'm gonna drop down and be in the chat now because you don't need me. Oh, um, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm almost done anyway. Thank you so much, Muzz. Thank you. Anytime.
Oh my God, thank you. Yay for Muzz, everybody. Please give claps and hearts for Muzz because this live could not have been done at all without her. At all. And I'm so appreciative, Muzz. I'm so, so appreciative. Yeah, Chippendales are fit and they're like tens. And to strip in Miami, male or female, I'm sure you got to be like a nine and a half or a ten. But a local dive still. Well, star those, that's all we had in Cincinnati. And so it counted. I guess maybe not when you live so close to Miami, it doesn't. Or you've got access to real strip clubs. But Cincinnati, the bar was not uh, real high. At all. <laughs> Larry Flint's brother owned a strip club out on the east side of Cincinnati. And I remember while well, I still lived in Cincinnati. So probably about 10, 15 years ago, they shut the club down because they had kept having um, arrests for uh, adult entertainment and stuff that the strippers were giving the customers and the club ended up shutting down because of it. And I think um, Larry Flynn's brother did time for it too. I bet Jen never told that part of the story when she was talking about the people versus Larry Flint because that was not in the movie. <laughs> Fort Lauderdale, yeah. Yeah, Fort Lauderdale. Yes, if you find that name, please let me know. Oh, my gosh. If they had the same owner, then he might even remember them. If it's a different owner, then there's probably no hope of finding anybody that remembers that nipple. So I guess that is it. Um, as soon as I get my new computer, well, not as soon. I will. Once I get the new computer, I'm going to restream these, and I'm going to use the video. And hopefully it's going to be a day where the it not only um, will my new computer be cooperative because the CPU will be much, much better and able to hold the streaming, but then there's also the issue of my shitty internet and the middle of nowhere it's like both of those issues combined uh made it a very challenging day and i could not appreciate muzz more for helping me so chris chris rock lied when he says there's no sex in the champagne room uh probably <laughs> probably <laughs> Say that's a hard, yeah, at least in Cincinnati. Probably at the Ramrod, is that the name? Of, oh my God, that's hilarious if that's a name. The Crazy Horse in North Miami, they let every crack in. and guys strip there. Well, Denise Ann, if we figure out the club, you might have to meet me there. <laughs> That would be hilarious. <laughs> You're like, uh, no, I'm married with kids and I am not crazy. Star. <laughs> okay. It is a real bar. That's hilarious. Yeah, I, when I was in um, out my computer, I stayed near. Um, I was in Lauderdale over the summer, and I stayed near the um, Hard Rock, near the Big Guitar. Because I wanted to see the light show before I went down to the Keys. 
And when you know it was pouring rain and so they didn't do the big light show. But I still hung out at the Hard Rock. I couldn't afford to stay at the Hard Rock because that was like a minimum, like $500 a night to stay at the Hard Rock. And that was not in my budget. So I stayed at like a comfort suite, like three miles away. <laughs> and then I drove down um, to Miami past the Versace mansion, which was like an hour from the Hard Rock. And then I drove down to the Keys. So um, that was a fun drive. It was beautiful. So pretty. But I was mad that the rain stopped the light show from at the Hard Rock because uh, that was the main reason I made the stop in uh, Fort Lauderdale was to see the light show from the Hard Rock that's shaped like a guitar. You guys, if you haven't seen this hotel, Google the Hard Rock Hollywood, Florida, and it's a huge guitar. So cool. Oh, nice, Denise. Okay. So, yeah, you're like, you're also like just a few miles from the Hard Rock Hotel, being that close to Hollywood. The last resort. Ah. Oh, that's the biker bar in Daytona that she was arrested at? I didn't remember the name of it, Mona. That story fascinates me about Eileen Warnos. Fascinates me. I live, um, I live near, there was um, the road, um, route, not route, um, State Road 42 is very close to me. And State Road 42 is the road that she drove back and forth with some of the bodies and where she, like the Ocala National Forest, where she hid the bodies is off of route, is off of um, State Road 42. And I live close to 42. So it just kind of fascinated me when I first moved here. And I was always driving up and down 42 to go to my parents' house. But it was like the same road that this female uh, serial killer was also driving. And then learning the history of how she, how she grew up and possibly became um, the person that she was. And how some of it might have been railroaded to, and she like she not, might not necessarily have been as guilty. I mean, she was definitely guilty, but not as guilty as what they were making her out to be. And yeah, the whole thing is is fascinating, very fascinating. And I'm like, wow! And I'm on this road driving by the Ocala Forest every day, and to think that that's where. Uh, some of them were where the police officer was uh, buried and so forth. But she did have a horrible, horrible childhood. Horrible, Mona. Yes. Thank you. Absolutely. Yep, Denise. Um, I don't anymore, Mona, since my parents passed. But I am. I mean, I go like if I go to the vegetable stand, the vegetable stand is on forty two, like right at the edge of that uh, national forest. So it's kind of like, basically, if you look at the map and you're looking at the green of the National Forest, it's sitting right there in the green, but like on the corner. <laughs> and yeah, I would drive every day or every other day, depending on on the health of my parents and whatnot stages of, of their uh, health condition would be the number of times a week I drive on that road. <laughs> yeah, it's not far from me at all. Luckily now I don't have much of a reason to go in that direction because it just makes me sad thinking about my parents when I do um have to go in that direction where it used to make me think of a serial killer. <laughs> wow. 
well, I guess I will end the live. I'm not good at I'm not good at flows of conversation. Very much so. Yeah, agree, Denise. It is. It is heartbreaking. And you could see like how some of her triggers would have affected, especially if she really was art by um, you know, by these by any of the Johns before um, you know, like like what was self-defense and what and what wasn't kind of thing. But yes, everybody have a wonderful, wonderful night. And if you are not familiar with Eileen Warnos, uh, there's a movie that Charlize Theron stars in, um, which is somewhat accurate. It's the Hollywood version of it. And Eileen Warnos is not, uh, you know, Charlene Ther Theron could not even be ugly on her ugliest day. And poor Eileen Warnos was, was not much of a looker in the, looker department so yes everyone have a good night and thank you for joining me and thank you for um putting up with um all of my hiccups and see you all in the future oh and thanks to the replay people okay i'm out <laughs> time for the uh time for the outro